Welcome, welcome to Crim's Crib. Yo, 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 welcome to Crim's Crib, where it's not really my crib, but I don't change the name because it sounds cool, and I am back again. Because I don't have anything to do. I don't have anywhere to be, and I don't have any friends, so all I do is entertain you. You! You sit, you sit on this couch. Yeah, that's it. That's it. But we changed up the schedule, so it feels different. I feel like I got a whole lot more energy. You know what I'm saying? It feels like it feels like we like like season two, right? Yeah. It feels like started like we started fresh. It feels yeah, like season two or something. Yeah. I know, man. I feel awesome right now. And uh Bray's obviously talking to me, so he's here too. What's up? What's up? What's good? How you doing? I'm good. How, how was your week? You never asked me. Yeah, why well, you better? See, I'm switching it up. Season two. Like, <laughs> niggas care now. <laughs> good, dude. I got off at noon. I got my hair cut and I came here. Well, I went home, chilled for a while, and then I came here. So, I think pretty laid pretty back good. day. Yeah. Well, last night we went to go eat. Me and my wife went out to go eat. We went to uh, Lupe Tortilla. You ever oh, been? I love that place. Dude, it's fucking expensive. But their fajitas are the best, bro. That's what I got. Yeah. Bomb. That lemon taste is so good. Or lime, but, I guess. Still, bro, for what we ate and what we had, what I paid was like, yo. Hey, man. But did y'all drink? Treat yourself. So, well, we got margaritas. Okay. There you go. But I switched. <laughs> no buts. But I thought real quick. I thought real quick and I switched gears and I went to regular beers because I started thinking about like, yo. It's probably like $10, oh, $15 margaritas. Yeah, yeah. I was like, mind. what am I doing? I, started, I was having a good time. And all of a sudden, I was like, what the fuck have I been doing this whole time? God damn it. You know what I'm saying? Back like a woman here on a date with a man taking shit. advantage of shit. <laughs> yeah. I was like, fuck. You know what I'm saying? But so then I switched over to, to beers thinking like, I'm I'm going to salvage the night with this. Right? Like, I'm going to save money now. Yeah. Hell no. no. <laughs> Hell no, nigga. I still spit a grip, man. Fuck. Anyways, but it was fun and you know, fuck it, dude. You know what I always say? Don't spend money if you're gonna spend it with a bad attitude about it. Like, do yeah. it because you love it, enjoy it. True. Who gives a shit? It, dude, my dad used to always tell me, I'm gonna go eat a, if you wanna go eat a steak on a Wednesday, go eat a steak on a Wednesday because what if you die on Thursday? Yeah. And True. I was like, so. Thanks, fuck Dad. It. <laughs> <laughs> Advice from the old man. Right? I mean, you can't take the money when you leave anyway. True. It's true. And Blaze is here too. What's up? You good? Yeah, yeah, I'm chilling, man. Had a good week. I had to, I had to qu- switch gears real quick because we're not because you're not waiting for me to introduce you. Now you're already going. Well, I'm here. <laughs> Hello, people. And <laughs> V has finally show, showed up and joined the show. Hey guys, so happy to be here. Sorry, I was kind of interrupting. Welcome. No, I'm just good, kidding. Good. I'm not really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we've been waiting. Dude. We've been waiting for a long time to have a woman's dynamic perspective, all that shit here. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And in fact, when we did do the show back in the days, we did have a woman uh, as our co-host back then. Okay. Shout out to Jax. And so it was me and Blaze and Jax, and I loved it. I love that dynamic. I love a woman's perspective and me because I'm such a pig. So we have such good debates. And yeah. I love that. I've been listening. Right? <laughs> <laughs> then, then you're right. And so you as a woman a million times probably like, fucking idiot. I oh, know. I'm like, I am a <laughs> Bro, if you say bitch one more time. <laughs> so, so what I'm saying, so, but I love that dynamic because we do, people do deserve to hear the woman's perspective. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It can't just be to... mine. I know a lot of people, like listeners of ours that have been faithful listeners throughout the year of us doing it already are probably like, Dude, but I love that there's no women involved. No, nah, that one just... guy's gonna listen. But, <laughs> but I think they they don't understand how much more fun it is for me if there's a woman around. Yeah, I mean, I'm yeah, a woman, but I kind of think know? like a dude too. I mean, not and all the time. <laughs> and that's why we say, right? It takes a special woman. Like, it yeah. has to be a woman that, uh, you know, what I'm saying, doesn't take things too seriously. A woman that understands I'm just an idiot. I'm yeah. not, you know. And then you know, just like basically, like doesn't take everything personal. Like, definitely, it, it takes yeah. a certain kind of woman to be. And you know what I'm saying? And I always felt you were that kind of person and shit, which in fact, that before we even had Jax back then, I had even asked you to do the I show know, back then when it was just an idea. Yeah, I remember right? you asking. And But I'm, you know what? I'm glad you came now, know, though. Things happen for a reason. Timing is yeah, everything. And I don't think sure. it could have happened at a more better time right now. And you know what? And that's why there's divine um, order. Yes. Because think about it. Like back then, it wouldn't have been this kind of production. Right. Like now we got the shit. We got the shit going good. It's good production. We got good. The way we put it out, it's on all platforms. It's all. And the way we were doing it before was like, you know, what I'm saying we didn't have video. Mm -hmm. We didn't have. uh, So it didn't matter what the setup looked like. It was just SoundCloud. Yeah. 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 And we were just do it like literally at my kitchen table. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, now we're about to blow this shit up. (laughs) Yeah. yeah. (laughs) Fuck yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, what I'm saying you came more at a time where it's like it's it's so much more better for you to for you to build a, a base of listenership yeah the way we have it now well thank you for having me and 
Welcome. Been wanting me in. Yes. <laughs> I'm yeah, here. I think you're, you're going to do great. <laughs> now y'all are stuck with me. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were great. I knew you were great for something like this. Always. And then, and then, but now, you know what I'm saying? I hope that the world can find out too. Me too. You know I was kind of nervous. Well, I was nervous because I mean, it's not, I've never done anything like this before. I don't even like talking in front of people in like a big groups. When I used to have staff meetings, I used to have oh, to take a God, shot or two yeah. oh, before really? I had to talk to them and That's they all the worst, knew I had dude. to. So they're like, here me right before so the meeting. You- so you feel like you're really like 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 getting out of your comfort zone doing this? Definitely am, but I mean that's good because that's change great. is good. You have to you know get out of your comfort zone. And On the other side change. of comfort, yeah, there's always yeah. treasures. Definitely. Yeah, they always say that. On the yeah. other side of the Look, comfort, I is got treasures. my boys with me. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Never gonna meet. Look, how did you manage to get in the room with the third craziest fucking assholes in the world? I have no <laughs> idea, did. but <laughs> I feel accomplished. You see, <laughs> see guys, don't ever give up, and you'll end up in a room yes. with three assholes. Y'all <laughs> <laughs> are the, the only life. assholes I want to be in the room with. <laughs> <laughs> as far as assholes, I'm done with them. <laughs> yeah. Let's hope that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, we know that. Okay, yes, we know that. And Don't speak red flags do not mean it's a carnival. Yes. <laughs> Dude, but no, but I definitely think that, uh, that uh, like I said, man, a, a woman perspective in here with us, with, with everything we talk about and all that shit is fucking perfect. And I've been knowing that and I've been thinking that and I've been saying this. I've been asking Blaze for, like, let me change. Let me get a girl co-host, please, for, like... Ever. Yeah, right? <laughs> Ever. Yeah, yeah. Since the Ever. beginning, probably, I was like, hey, there's got to be a woman, too. Well, the biggest roadblock has always been uh, consistency. Yeah. Uh, women, so it's yeah. Hard it's hard to, for women to stay consistent with it, doing a show. With well, men, too, like of this. course, but, you know... Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Even guys. Yeah, Because yeah. there's even guys that's like, that. you know, they can't be here all the time. They can't... And that's that's the one thing I, I think people probably take... Don't take... Like, they take for granted is the fact that it's like that... They get a show every Wednesday and they don't understand how hard that is for us to do it. No, yeah. definitely. I understand that. And I understand how girls can be a little bit more, I mean, less, con- what is it? Consistent? consistent. Yeah. But I mean, it's like, hard for them to commit. Yeah. I mean, uh, like my last relationship, there was a lot of shit I couldn't do that at the beginning I was able mm-hmm. to do. So it's just kind of like, yeah. you got to kind of respect who you're with at the same time. But it, you I'm, know, I'm getting a divorce. So y'all don't got to worry about that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It takes, and, uh, it takes, it takes, it takes Perfect. Right, it definitely and I ain't takes, dating no motherfuckers for a hot minute, so it, even if I do, if they're not okay with this shit, then I'm, bye. Well, Peace. you know what, and that's what nice. I was going to say. Yeah, it's, fuck it's, that. It's very hard to find a person that is okay with somebody that's uh, into, into in entertainment, uh, that's is very known, social, the scene is and everything, and on yeah. the scene, on the, it takes you, it takes a, a very Dude, secure been, person. Yeah, it, it's been, real, I'm not going to lie, since I've been in the industry and doing modeling, every guy I've dated has always had an issue with it at first mm. they're all like oh hell yeah, yeah. My, my girl's all oh, badass you're a model. oh yeah the they may take pictures of and you and jealous. posting and then they're Fucking like dick. who's this who's that i'm oh, like seriously no who's, who's that? that yeah yeah oh my and god that's the worst question anyone could ever ask dude, you and then when we're not together <laughs> anymore and i post a modeling picture oh you thirsty ho. oh now really? you're <laughs> oh, really oh because, you're fine again you know, oh you dressed like a librarian for the past year those were the ones that were Shut up, I'm going to throw something at you. <laughs> I always get that when I'm at work because I get my glasses. Yeah. They're like, oh, Liberian. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> no, but I'm like, dude, you used to post more pictures than I did when we were together. Oh, now, yeah, if I yeah. post a modeling picture is an issue, like, I'm sorry, you met me modeling. And yeah, yeah, I, I mean, yeah. Yeah. just because I slowed it down doesn't mean I'm not going to do it anymore. <laughs> yeah, hmm. that's you know? what I'm saying. It takes it, it really does take somebody that's that's cool with it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, dude, like sometimes like like we don't know, but like the people in our lives can be putting like you know weight on us that's not letting us take off yes like yes. we could go so much further if you weren't constantly pulling me pulling down with down. the stuff yeah with the jealousies with the insecurities and that's all the, yeah it because it's on our end too you know what i'm saying we was we were rappers our our shit since we've known each other we were rappers mm-hmm. we toured we did everything we were always everywhere and like you know it couldn't it, but my wife was never that kind of woman so that's yeah, probably I heard was, her sh- y'all saw right. last week yeah so it's easy it and was easier it. for her you just have to be secure and you have yeah. to have trust and communication in a relationship because yep. if you trust them then you're not going to worry about what the hell Why they're doing you? Yeah. because you already know they're not going to do anything right unless you're doing something and then mm-hmm. you're having your own insecurities yeah. and your own guilt that's that's like oh what are you doing well I'm not doing anything are you doing something that you feel yeah. like I am because yeah. you're hiding it like that's, that's a hard life to have dude to be constantly God, worried about well, what everybody else is doing walking on True. eggshells all the fucking time Fuck, it's like hard. it's just so hard yeah definitely so, I couldn't live like that you so know what I'm saying it's very hard me how I am me how I am and you're gonna learn how I am I couldn't live like that 
No, I'm definitely I'm not doing it again. I'm fucking. I'm an eagle. I have to do what I do. Spread your how wings, I do boo. it. Spread your wings. Yes. <laughs> and people have to be okay with it. Like that's the way I There's am. There's some Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> well, you feel me though, right? I feel you. Cheers. Like you know, it, you know what I'm saying. Uh, you know, for me, it's like I'm always having to do something creative, and it doesn't matter. And you know, it, it takes people, man. It takes the yeah, right people. I mean, I have done and stopped doing stuff for certain people, and at the end, I always regret it because it's like I did and gave up so much, and. Uh, I'm still getting blamed for everything that I'm not doing. Yeah. So, you know, fuck that. Do yeah. you, dude. Do what makes you happy. I am now. From now on. So should I be looking so for... So that's why industry, I'm here? Uh, <laughs> industry female? Should you look should for an industry what? female? Yeah. Industry female? So no, you bet you should... But if you, <laughs> if you do get a female, get one that's all right with you doing your thing. Oh, yeah. They gotta be. But I also mean, an industry one would understand what you do. Yeah, that's why. So I, yeah. it'll be a little True. bit, yeah. a little bit easier. But, but can you handle an industry girlfriend? That's the mm. thing. Just don't Good even question. do industries. Yeah. Because no, I mean, yeah. don't even do relationship. <laughs> Not industries. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like. Yeah. Yolo. Don't. <laughs> no. But but it, but it's true, man. It's like it's like you know what I'm saying. If if somebody. If somebody is like, okay, like, cause see, I'm like, I'm me, I'm like very like, you know, I act a goddamn fool, but I'm smarter than I, than I let off and, and, and I, and I peep and I watch and I, and I see everything and I see like business. I see everything and I see it like a business. I see it like a marketing. I see it like a, right. Yeah. So I'm like, when I'm, and I'm, th- I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you what I think about you. Right. So to kind of make sense on this. Okay. I see you and I knew you already. I already knew you from back then. Mm-hmm. Right. I already know. You know what I'm saying? This girl looks great, right? Thank you, She's thank you. She's beautiful, right? And then I'm like... Filters help. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> so I'm like, she's beautiful. And then I'm like, well, you know, I've gotten to North throughout the years. Very cool. Yeah, for a, very long, sweet, a lot of years. Yeah. Very, you know what I'm saying? Very easy to approachable. Like not, you know, some girls are hot and See, they're not approachable. A lot of people say that I look very intimidating to not be See, I never felt that way. But I mean, once you get to know me, I mean, I'm the... Yeah. I have the maybe biggest Maybe I'm fucking in- crazy too, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, gotta well, know, they gotta know. They gotta know how to break the ice. So they can't yeah, break you the know, ice. I mean, so, I guess maybe because you're in the industry, it's a lot easier yeah, for yeah, you yeah, to, yeah, 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 yeah. rather than some random ass fool yeah, that tries yeah. to. I, I see what you're saying. I mean, except you have those ones that like are still in my inbox talking to them fuck themselves because they're like, <laughs> hey, wow. hey, hey, answering their own hey. question. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, I just up? I just mute the you're conversation right? so I don't even <laughs> hear the notification. But then whenever I look, I'm like, God, it's back at the top. <laughs> hey, like, but Boo, when are you gonna get the? When are you gonna get it? I'm not gonna reply. <laughs> I can hey, leave no, you on read. No, and you're hey, still gonna keep replying. Hey, one day, but hey, one fucking day. I stopped putting it on. I stopped even reading them because now I I'm hope, like, hey, dog. I know you read it. Yep, yep, <laughs> you know what? Yep. So I, I you're nah. saying I got a chance. <laughs> you read my message, <laughs> oh, bro. I'm, you read it. <laughs> let's manifest it. Dude's mind right there, I hope bro. that this average person <laughs> ends up marrying Vero do one day, dude. So it could be like. I'm, you did I am, I'm, You'll be like the Lion King. Like. Uh, hello, I'm getting a divorce from the, from an a average guy that got married to me. Okay? Oh, oh, yeah, she it's said happened, YOLO. She ain't getting, getting married. Oh, so you already did that? Yes. Oh, yeah. Hell so now I'm, you're going to end up with like some chiseled ass nigga. Like, he's going to come here looking like Triple H. Are you done with the show? We're going to be like, I'm like oh, yeah, yeah, daddy. Bro, yeah. <laughs> Fucking big old, you can't even fit through the door. She was Babe, just on the way out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all done in there? He's going he's gonna to look like hey, wait, Bautista. Are, 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 y'all, talking shit, y'all talking shit now, but once we get big, he's going to be the motherfucker that's going to be our bodyguard, our security. Oh, We're going to be like, security, hey, security. I like your thinking. I like your thinking. He's thinking ahead. Yeah, hey, he's there you ahead. go. Because, man, you know, people, I feel like people want to beat me up sometimes. So that's good. Hey, me too, but I'm just like, hey, man. That's how they keep me around, though. Yeah. So anywho, so, but, so anywho but back to what I was trying to say was, I saw all that, and I said, this is like, if she... She can be a personality and make money yeah. and or, or or create a fan a fanship or a listenership or she has all the things that is needed for that and then but you know what I'm saying but like how do you tell somebody without because if I tell you my image you're gonna be like this dude's a weirdo He's, well I mean right, if you would have just like messaged me for the first time out of nowhere and said right. that then I'd been like okay <laughs> thanks <laughs> no, but I, but still, thumbs up <laughs> but I still think too though is like even having that kind of conversation is like when you're I imagine when you're a good looking woman, it's like, that sounds like what everybody's telling you. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So how can you think this guy really does have a plan, right? Like, or an idea that we can try rather than anybody can say it. Yeah. And I everybody mean, probably does. You know, who's not a photographer? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, right. come on. He yeah. all, I'm a photographer. I would love to take pictures of you. Oh, my God. Like, how many? Dude, that has got niggas I, in a good place. And that's when I tell them, okay, okay I don't take pictures for free. It's going to, they're like, <laughs> 
oh, okay, and I don't do it at someone's house. It has to be like at a studio. You have yeah. to provide the makeup artist. You have to you provide show my up hair. And, there's a couch. and then they're like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do we? <laughs> what kind of shoot is and, this? and then he has his iPhone. <laughs> oh my god! But it's the new dude. one. <laughs> oh my god. Um, no, but normally when I tell them that, then they're like, oh, okay, and then I kind yeah, of yeah. Like, if they don't want to invest, you're like, fuck. But all right. I mean, typically I only shoot with like two or three people, and that's yeah. it. Like uh, Christopher Leslie, he's one of my I always shoot with him like all the time mm -hmm. um chad from the drive i'm actually yeah. gonna be doing a shoot with his clothing line again so Dope. i can shoot with him um we should stop by that and get some footage all right i'll let you know what it, it is we're supposed to do a, it tomorrow have him take photos of us and like just do a podcast photo we can do a podcast That'd be dope. Photo. Yeah. But I want it to be funny. Like, I want to dress up like Dumb and Dumber or something. That would be fucking funny. You know what I'm talking about? Like, the, when they're getting married. They have like, 90s dumb throwback. Yeah, kind of. like, stupid, something we goofy. We can do, like, a 90s thing. I want yeah, it to look goofy. You take your shirt off and tell me to put baby oil on it. Uh, All right, man. Let's we're trying on. to gain uh, viewers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> let's go on. All right. <laughs> we wrote down some a few questions for some bullet points to get us uh, through this conversation mm -hmm. that we already talked about. But now that they're coming on up naturally, it'll be a lot easier to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> so what are some first date red flags? The first time you go out with a girl, the first time you go out with a guy, it's the first time you're picking them up, all this shit. What the fuck from the p moment you pick them up to then... Is the red flag, or even when they, you give them your number and they y'all, it's just the conversation prior to the date. There could be a red flag in there somewhere. Oh God, yes. Right. <laughs> yeah. I right? think I just had a breakup with somebody that I wasn't even dating yet. <laughs> oh my God. What? That's that's, real. that's crazy. Wow. You broke up with somebody you weren't even dating. I think I was like, I don't think this is gonna work. <laughs> right. that, no, but what's not gonna work? How do you take it though? Uh. <laughs> you broke. <laughs> my She's like, I shouldn't have said. No you. wait. No wait. 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 I just said like wait, yeah, wait. I, don't think I just want to comprehend this. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you're saying you broke uh, up with somebody. I'm like talking shit, where? and he's probably gonna listen today. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> well, he we're not saying names. I but, know, but I'm sure he knows who it is. <laughs> well, how does he know that? There could be ten guys trying to. You probably broke up with ten guys today. That's Felipe. Well, <laughs> it's Yo. Francisco. I like the way that sounds. <laughs> <laughs> but you see what I'm saying? Like, what do you like? Like. Okay, so you broke up with somebody that you're not even with. Well, is what you're saying? Kind of not breaking up, but like, I just like. The you needed yeah, a break from somebody like, you're not with. Not work. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, I hadn't even met him yet. It hasn't even like went out yet. Oh, so. what? Yeah, red flag like, for sure. Yeah, like. So know, that was a red flag. Yeah, you were like, "Yo, you're already too." Yeah, like, I'm like pump the gas. Obsessed. I mean, pump the brakes, <laughs> not the gas. <laughs> yeah, it's already too so, obsessed, yeah. right? Yes, not obsessed. Not like obsessed. It was just like. Push conversation it. was cool but then it was kind of like getting a little too like ahead of ourselves and i was like mm. what like he was like naming y'all's kids or whoa, um, what do you mean? whoa that's man. a red flag for <laughs> <sure>. <laughs> i mean you yeah the shit no. out of, i almost okay. you scared yeah. me nigga oh. <laughs> 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 fuck he said something to scare yo me. Man, it was just it. like certain Took stuff and i was just like yeah that, he started talking know. about introducing <laughs> you to the mom right away or something no not even no that. but yeah it what? was more like oh god okay so he's gonna know who it is but i don't really give a fuck so <laughs> it was just more like um you know chick, pick and choose your battles right yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. know i'm talking about like dogs and my dog sleeps with me you know and especially after all this bullshit happened with my ex like he, i need him right next to me <laughs> yeah. gotcha. you know because yeah. he's like he, she's my protector he didn't ask you to get rid of the dog did he no but he was like the dog you shouldn't sleep with your dog on your bed i'm like he's not under my cover he's on my comforter no 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 that's like yeah. that's like dog if we haven't even met that's a lot personal yeah. yeah for you to be worried about where the fuck my dog is and yeah he's like, like yo yeah i'm totally gonna I'm get blocked but he's like it's a <laughs> sacred <laughs> it's a sacred bed and i'm no, like I do. A sacred bed? Yeah. Yo. And then I was like, we don't, did we really need to talk about this? We haven't even sacred met. Sacred bed. Is oh that a thing God, still, dude. sacred beds? I feel like I that's I mean, is done. sacred even a thing nowadays, right? Uh, that's true. And then he was what like, it's a marriage bed. And I'm like. A marriage bed? Yo, marriage is no. a relationship, that word right not there. an item. Done. <laughs> yo, dude, nigga throwing around M word? Yo, dude, we're done. And then, no, it gets better. So then I was like, I'm going to bed, right? Mm -hmm. So then he t sends me a fucking article uh -oh. about seven reasons why you shouldn't sleep with your friends. Oh, my God. Whoa, that's a super red flag. Oh, my God. I replied Damn. with, oh, my God, did you article. really just send me This nigga article? needed to give you proof why you needed to do this like, shit? I was like, yeah, it's not going to work. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Adams at U of H? I mean, Professor Adams, if you're going to do research, 
research. Do research on like like real research, not people's fucking opinions. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. my dog takes a bath once, maybe twice a week. He's not fucking dirty. He's not an outside dog. I'm afraid oh, don't he want to go outside when it rains. Yeah. <laughs> he's not. He's not an animal person. That's he doesn't even yeah, like. He to, probably wasn't he an animal person. Supposedly, is. or maybe he was jealous of an animal. Uh, oh. I mean, it sounds like some stupid shit like that. Well, my yeah. baby, I'm jealous of your my dog. My baby sleeps with me, and he's never gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> man, that's weird. That is weird. Anywho, man, I was thinking about. I was thinking about this right, and I was like, "What's a red flag before we even?" And I was thinking, and I was like, "If I can't, because like if I'm, if, let's say I met you online somehow." Mm-hmm. And then I'm trying to get to know you so that before our date, because I tell you, hey, we should get dinner on Friday. Cool. And then, all right, cool. And then I'm like, before the date, I kind of want to get to know her a little bit, feel her out a little bit before we go on the date so I kind of know what I'm dealing with, what I'm about to get. Yeah. Right? Because all I see is pretty pictures and that don't mean shit. Exactly. So, I, so, so I'm like, I hit her up. I'm hit her up and I'm like, yo, let me call you, you know what I'm saying, after work today when I get off work and on my way home, I'll call you and we talk. Oh, no, I'm not really a, a, a talking person. I'm more of a tech. I don't like that. Oh, that's weird. That yeah, for me, that's yeah. a red flag. It's like, yo, man, like, I need to like, cause I'm not the nigga that's like, you know, like if I send you a text message, you're like, if you send me a text message, Blaze, I'm never like, yo, this nigga's mad. I don't know what you are. It's a text message. Well, I can't say that's weird because I'm the total opposite. Like I suck at text messages. I like to convey my message. That's how, over, but that's what like, I'm saying. Vocally. No, and I'm not saying we have to talk on the phone all the time. Yeah. But yeah, before yeah. our first date, I want to have some be conversations some on the phone. Definitely. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 I'm old school, bro. I'm not gonna sit there but and t- text see, you all the time. See, with me, I don't like giving my number out. I've had the same number before my daughter was born, and she's 16 years old. Oh, same shit, stuff, fucking number. Okay. Loyal customer on top of that. Too. Yeah, right? For <laughs> real. I, I know. I went from T-Mobile to Verizon about 10 years ago, 20, 15 years ago. But anywho, <laughs> that's besides the point. But like, I'm going to conversate with you via messenger before I give you my number because, okay. man, I ain't changing my number. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You have so, to feel it out, dude, because it can be like... That's true. Nah, that's... You know, like I so said. then I'm not going to want to talk because you can not You can call through Facebook, but it's, it's you know, the FaceTime bullshit. Oh, the FaceTime. And, yeah. Or even that, yeah, let's fucking FaceTime. Let's yeah, something. and I don't mind doing that after a little bit of us, you know, messaging back and forth because mm. I'm not going to give well, you, you my number right away. First. Yeah, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, and know? we were comfortable because it was already, we're going to go out to eat. Okay, well, then that's different, yeah. She so, was, and then I'm like, yo, I'm going to call you after work or something. Did she have, like, like, kids or, like... I don't know, dude. I mean, you know, mama? maybe I was just being a fucking. Maybe I was looking for a way out. Who knows? Nah, but I mean, it, 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 it but is it a felt thing, to though, me. bro. Maybe she's like subconscious, or like, maybe she's just like nervous, or it could be a number of things. Well, this is so am I. But this is the way you we're gonna break the time. You are not shy. I am shy. Shut up. I, well, I, I will say. I will say. Shut it is easier to shoot your shy. shot. It is easier to shoot your shot through a text message than it is vocally. Yeah, yeah. definitely. But I just like to like, cause I'm okay. I'm not shy, but I'm nervous. I want to break the ice, the tension, and then so that I can start feeling, okay, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need that first. You know what I'm saying? But you weren't nervous when you asked her out. No. So then no, why are you going to no. be nervous to have to call her? Well, because it's like, I know she's so hot, but now I want to know if I like her. So, you see what I'm saying? So I asked her, her out because so, she was hot. So her voice is going to tell you if you like her? Yes. Because well, what if she has a man voice? No. No. It's not even. It's not even. No, but it's not even. No, no, okay, but it's not even the voice. It's, it's anybody can have a badass personality online. And then when you meet them, they're fucking dicks yeah, or they're true. idiots or they're like, this bitch don't even talk. Like uh, with the bitches, the this. Well, no, she could be a bitch. She, she give you a this, bitch don't talk. <laughs> this one's OK. This bitch don't she talk. didn't want to talk to you on the phone. But you she see what bitch. I'm trying to say? It's like, it's, like, it's like to me, it's like, you know, like, like, I guess it just it just depends on the circumstance and like the situation and like the time you were calling her, because if I'm watching a movie with my daughter and you call me, I'm sending you to fucking voicemail and I'm yeah. going to text you. Hey, I, I'm watching a movie with my daughter. Yeah, you, no. can, you can text. I don't mind texting, but I'm not going to be on the phone with you. Right. You know? But but even then, it wasn't like I was like, you know, like pushy about it. It was just like sometime today. Let's talk. It wasn't like I was like, 7 o'clock, give me a... It was like, you know... <laughs> and, and then 7.01, you haven't called me. <laughs> Are you okay? Did you get in a wreck? I mean, you trying to, you trying to have a you. Zoom meeting with you or something? <laughs> Hey, you told her we're going to Zoom at 7. Oh, my God, dude. Fucking oh, creepy. I've been waiting by my phone for five whole minutes. I know. Hell, yeah. Did you forget my number? This do you, is grim. Do you still want to, do you still want to, do you still want to go out? I get it, yeah. I, I'm sorry I called you earlier. You're sending her emojis? Oh, my yeah. God, dude. Worried ones? Like, yeah. The broken heart? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, dude. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right, you know you did. No, but you know, I just for me it just felt like you know what I'm saying. Like I didn't like like I didn't like that she wasn't helping me build up what was about to happen. Well, so I, for me it was a red to be flag. More personal, like more in person to do that. Yeah. 
Yeah, who knows? But you know, but but I'm saying is, but I've been in this situation where we didn't really talk, and then when we did finally hang out, it was good. It, it, no, they were like I said, they had a better personality online on their comments, on their bullshit they share, on their fucking all that shit. And then in re- reality, they they don't have a personality. Well, a lot of people do that. A lot of people. I just, don't like that. Yeah, I mean, not. I'm not saying it's cool, but I mean, a lot of people do. I mean, I want to say I am a hundred percent. Well, let's say ninety percent of of my Facebook and Instagram. That's ninety percent of it's me. But mm-hmm. I am shy. A lot of people don't know that I I, I am an introvert. I it takes yeah, me a lot to same. get to to yeah. warm mm-hmm. up to people. If I'm bartending behind a bar or like in that kind of atmosphere. I'm totally fine. I can just go up to anybody. I'm like a social butterfly. But like on one in one situations, I t- it kind of takes me a little kind of a little bit to kind of warm up to you. Mm-hmm. So I mean, yeah, you know, I get it. I guess you know I could see. What? Well, how did it go? Did you go out or did you cancel? Well, well, um, no, I did went out eventually. You? you did. <laughs> we went out eventually. And what? You? you know, well, I mean, I'm not with her. Uh, huh? But, <laughs> but, <laughs> or are we still so. together? Maybe I should call her and break up with her. Uh, <laughs> you might want to text She's her. Like, she might answer the phone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> text her. Hey, I think we should break up. <laughs> Look at them. I was wondering what happened to you. I thought you went to jail. <laughs> <laughs> this whole time. She, got, she got your name tatted on her. Has that ever happened to you though? Have you ever hit up somebody and then they're like, they like don't think y'all ever broke up? No. no. That no. happened to me before. Uh, like, no. No. <laughs> that happened to me I with this chick. I make it clear, dude. it's done. <laughs> that happened to me with this I don't girl. Want no confusion. <laughs> but, but you know what? But it was it, in her defense. <laughs> In her defense, it was like six Bro. months later. Oh my god! But I thought six I did the, right. But so I did. The, I did the ghost. To you, yo, I did together. the ghost. What you do to her, man? No, Damn. I'm saying I didn't ever like <laughs> yeah. actually be like, yo, I don't want to be with you. So I just you ghost her, and she still thought y'all were together. Six months later, dumb bitch. Yeah, for real, bro. For That's what I'm trying real. to say. No, you, you, you probably like don't you know what it, with that one. Really that bitch is probably really fucking crazy. Dog, I'm. She probably has all your, your pictures like and shrines all over Just because I'm so, <laughs> just because I'm so toxic, I'll tell y'all what happened. So I fucking come home from a, like a fucking bender, right? We killed it. A bender. I mean, we killed it. We had the night of our lives, yeah. bender, right? Bender. And I come home and shit, and I'm like, yo, I'm in my bed laid up, you know what I'm saying? Looking through my shit, right? You know, it's fucking three, four in the morning, and I'm like, I'm gonna try to fuck a chick. So I'm looking, and I'm like hitting up few, right? Making it rain with text messages. Like, the best message, <laughs> hey, you know how yeah. them niggas do the, the shots before God the game? I'm that nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm gonna shoot about ten of these, and we're gonna see what goes in, right? None of them are going in, right? <laughs> and then all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? Like that girl, right? She's my she was my friend on Facebook at that time, and then I, I was like. I haven't talked to her in a long time. You know what I'm saying? You know, never know. Right? Might yeah. be able to work this my way in this. Yeah. So I hit her and up. This is the six months after? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm so done with so, this conversation. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I hit her up. Yo. So you ghost her. <laughs> with a yo. And then six months later, <laughs> no, you but I her. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get this right. You ghost her for six months. Yes. And then you text her and you fuck her after six months. And she tells you she thought y'all were still together. What's her name, bro? And you're still alive? <laughs> <laughs> and you're still alive. That's like some psycho, psychotic fucking shit. Yeah, it is. Bro. I never thought about it that way. Why do you have to make it evil? Because I'm fucking evil. It was evil. funny. <laughs> <laughs> but look, what happened was I hit her it's up. It's funny now, but I, but you're I never, don't even know how it was look, funny I don't care. That's scary. Fine or not, the finest girl in the whole world is not going to fuck you. Hey, the finest, finest girl in the, <laughs> <laughs> the finest girl in the world, there's no way she can fucking not throw in the towel on a yo. Oh, At you? three in the morning, a yo, you're That's in. Nobody, crazy. it's a missile. <laughs> if, if I'm laid up in the bed at four in the morning and my shit went off and I looked at her, you know how you got one eye, like, oh, shit. And then, you know, because it's all bright, you know that shit? And then I see and it's a fucking yo from a chick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know what's up. No, my shit's on D and D at eight p.m. See, no, and my, it ain't coming back. Oh, on you got your shit in airplane mode. D and D, do not disturb. Poor yeah. bastard. Straight to uh-huh. the no. Poor bastard out there that's been <laughs> three no in the morning fucks every, given. And for the past no ten years, given. yo, yo, yo. No so, I don't know what it is. That's awesome. I don't give a shit. I don't know. She has such a force field. I, uh, <laughs> I go to sleep early. <laughs> I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> okay, dude. So, but dude, that is that is like. Terrifying as fuck. When that I was, I, I've done it. When I was single, 
I've done that. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. Like all fucked up. You're just like, let's see what's up. Not and then you wake up the next morning, like, oh my god, dude. What I, I hate done? that. <laughs> oh, like, yes. right, away, right when you wake up, oh my god, messages. you immediately feel like, why did I do what yeah, I did? I'm an idiot. I'm a fucking uh, idiot. Yeah, god damn. I hate it. I hate it. So when I used to drink, I used to have to put my phone away. Because I am notorious for losing it when I'm drunk. And it's oh, not even shit. losing it. It's like I put it in my pocket. And that might have saved I have your life. I'm looking for it. <laughs> that might have saved your life a million times. No. It was because you didn't have the phone. If you had the phone, you would have. I did have gone. it. It was like in my back pocket or in my shoe or my boot. Yeah. And I just didn't know it was there. And I'm going crazy looking for it. Who the <laughs> fuck stole my shit? Like Jonah. Oh, my God. Jonah. I did that. Who was, was it? Michael Sarah. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. I've done that before. It was horrible. What are some of the things that right off the jump would make you not want to date them like right off the jump like their name it doesn't oh good if okay. their name is some an ex's name i'm sorry you're, what if you're, they got a nickname though i'm oh. not gonna call you a nickname i've never dated a guy that i called him his nickname i knew never. he had him i knew he had nicknames but i'm not gonna call you your nickname i ain't everybody else so you call him by the government mm. name yeah oh, that's a good yeah. point i never thought about that what if he has like a crazy like Mexican name like Epifanio or something? What then the it's not gonna happen. Yeah, I just because of his name. <laughs> yes. What if he like who's fucking somebody good looking? Jason Momoa. Jason. But, what if, but his name is Epifano. Have you seen Jason? <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. What if he looks like him and that's his name? But yeah, no, sorry, I can't. I just can't. You can't. <laughs> no. I mean, how am I gonna say this is my boyfriend and then blah blah blah? <laughs> <laughs> they're not even gonna be them. If you introduce him to your homegirls, they're not even gonna be listening to the rest. They're gonna be like. And, are gonna be making, and this is why I don't have girlfriends. <laughs> or like a crazy last name. Well, I'm never changing my last name again, so oh, okay. I really don't gotcha. care what. Wouldn't gotcha. you rename the guy's name anyways, though? Like, let's yeah, say like his Epi. Name, Epi. You would like nickname him yourself. Nope. <laughs> no, no, I just can't do it. So right off the the bat, the name would. Yeah, does it. I'm sorry. What about you? What's something on right off the bat that you're like, I can't do it? Uh, the phone thing and what they're wearing and their voice. Three things. The phone. Yes, thing? Yes, their voice too. Because if voice, they're like their voice, the phone <laughs> thing, and what they're wearing on the first date. I typically do dinner on a first date. Yeah, I mean, yeah, sometimes I dinner. Typically you know, I'm totally, dinner. like, going to low-key places. I'm yeah. not, um, I'll wear heels every now and then, more <clears throat> not than so. Yeah. Um, so, if I don't have to wear heels, I'm not going to fucking wear them. If we're going <laughs> <laughs> I, I like, I like my chucks. Like, I like to be comfortable, you know, especially yeah. on, on a date, you know. You never know where you're going to go, yeah. and it's a surprise, and I yeah. want to feel comfortable in what I'm wearing, and not, like, you know. First of all, I don't know how the fuck y'all wear heels. Dude. That shit looks crazy. Dude, I just started walking them again like a year ago. It's kind of hard still. That's like some talented <laughs> shit, bro. <laughs> that shit is crazy. I'm like, uh, a long time ago, I used to be able to do this shit like nothing. Now I'm like, uh. <laughs> So, what other Hold things? Hold my hand. <laughs> so, the names, the way they dress. The first date, the way they dress, you'll be like, nah, I'm good. Nah, that's the voice. <clears throat> if the they're voice. on their phone too much. While they're talking to you? I mean, I'm not saying this happened to me, but... No, but I'm saying, like... That would be a red flag for me. Like, if she's on her phone too much, I'm going to be like, man, I'm not going to... You know, like, like yeah, instead of paying... Like oh, yeah, that bro. is true. I don't like it. Yeah, if you're not paying attention to me, like, you could put that up for an hour, bro. Like, no, uh, two hours, even. whatever you time. Be. If you're... Yeah. If, yeah. If they're not interesting, then yeah, <clears throat> definitely. But, I mean, I don't know. On first dates, I don't let anybody pick me up at my house. I don't want you knowing where I live. Yeah. So, like, way yeah. Later I never had on. a chick come to the crib so on the first I'm, date. So, if I'm not feeling it, I'm just going to tell you straight up, like, you know. Yeah. We'll go half on the mill. <laughs> I mean, if I don't see it going like in that direction, but I yeah. see you're cool and we can be friends, and I'll yeah. fucking still party with you all night. Well, I don't even drink anymore, but you know what I mean, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just keep that makes it, like sense. friendships. Yeah, yeah. right, 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 yeah. right. right. Yeah. yeah. Like I know a lot of guys that yeah, I'm sure that they wanted to date me, but I like him as a friend more than anything, and I wouldn't want to fuck up our friendship just yeah. because of a relationship. And then what if it didn't work out? Then I'm like, I lose yeah. a friend, you know, somebody that's it's been there for me you know yeah true, so our brother true. keeps that some relationships it's a good way to, as that's friends a good best way to look at and it and it's not like a friend zone type thing because friend zone's just kind of like like never yeah yeah well no because <laughs> it's I, I guess because with relationships you, they should be your friend you know mm -hmm. yeah. but there's some friends that you just don't want to lose at all yeah. you know and yeah. i feel like sometimes you have to take that risk not doing it and just have them as a friend, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. True, like, true. you know, you know you'll never lose them if they're But friends. how do you know that if you never dated that guy, that would have been the one? Because you're ruled, though, you're never going to know. Well, it's not a rule. It's just, I'm probably just never going to know. <laughs> <laughs> but right, you see what I'm saying? Like, because no, yeah, since y'all are such good friends, like, how do you know that that uh, specific guy, whatever, that you're good friends with, it's like, if you just gave the, that guy the chance that he has always wanted, that could have been the relationship. Like, that was, like, your... 
you know, perfect life, whatever you always wanted, all that bullshit. Yeah. Guess I'm just never going to go. <laughs> <laughs> it's a risk I'm willing to take. Yeah. <laughs> but what other things are there, right? Zodiac signs? Do you care about Zodiac signs? Yeah, man. When I date a Zodiac, a certain Zodiac sign, it kind of like fucks up for a lot of a lot of them. No shit. And I mean, mm. it's because you're just, you've seen what that one does. You're just like, fuck, they're all like that. You oh, know? shit. Eventually, <laughs> yeah. that one, I feel you know, that eventually, one. yeah, I, I will. But if it's like right after or like, no, I'm still fucking traumatized <laughs> yeah. from the last one. Like, this is going to be a hot minute where so, I date another Scorpio. <laughs> <laughs> But a guy will say that. Yo, I'm not really feeling... But a girl, they don't want to tell you that. Oh, my my bitch ass will tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I would tell you. But Sorry. some girls, they want, right? They don't know how to tell you. Yeah, yeah, that's so true. So they kind of like string you along because they don't know how to... They don't want to break your heart. Guys are not like that. We're going to tell you right away. Like, yo. Well, some I ain't girls will. I'm one of those. I'll tell you, you know, hey, it's... I don't think we, I don't think the we want out, the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know? Yeah. But as a guy, also too, though, man, I've said it a million times. If... Depending on how she looks, ethics go out the window. Everything I ever believed so in. So she like, your ass. Yeah, I'll put up with <laughs> Yes. <laughs> you, know? you see what I'm trying to say? The high, if she's super hot, right? It's like, but, I mean, fuck it if she's a Scorpio. Girls. Fuck it if she, you know, like, stuff starts to like, who cares? Yeah, you're right. That's if, what if, I, if, I, if, I, if I saw a hot motherfucker <laughs> that was a Scorpio, yeah, nah, it, I don't know. See? You'd be like, well... They can't all be the same. I'm like, is this a carnival again? <laughs> <laughs> but you see what I'm saying? Like, looks no, like, I know make it's not less all. thing, make less... Fr- looks will make red flags disappear. But, okay, yes and no. But, like, with my track record in my past, yeah. like, none of these foods I dated were fucking hot as fuck. So, it was always That's like... That's your problem. I, I, you keep dating what's not on your level. Dude, if you're the fucking steak, you need to date steaks. You can't be fucking with burgers, chops, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, fucking with chopped liver. <laughs> yeah. You can't get your ass. Yeah. Get it. Thank you so much for fucking throwing them. Throwing the little fucking, you know, the, like the plane that throw out the little fucking. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for putting the ladder down a few times, but damn, nigga. The perfect relationship is equally yoked. If you come with less than that person, it's going to be like you're carrying it all the time. Yeah. That's why you got to date somebody that's. Yeah, all, yeah with like I said, you. all the guys I've dated have not been, like, hot or anything. They've been, you know, and, and people think that that means just in, like, you know, as, like, how we're doing financially. how, But it yeah, means like it the, looks, with too. with them because they're, they're yeah. out of money or something. I but it know. means it looks, too. Uh, uh, okay, because if you give a guy uh, that that's not in your enchilon of that could date you, mm-hmm. right, a chance, which is cool. I'm not knocking uh-huh. it out. And uh-huh. I'm sure a million times it has <laughs> worked. But for the most part, he's not going to know how to be with a, a woman of that hotness. Touche. Feel me? Yeah. And it's going to eventually cause a lot of problems for you and for him. and Definitely. And that's what I mean, right? Not always. Like I said, I know I've met, I know couples that the girl's real hot and the dude's not, and, and they've been together for years and years and years. So I'm not saying it's always like that, but what I'm saying is that sometimes that happens is because that guy's not used to that. Yeah. It's like a, 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 a Hollywood star dating a regular guy. Eventually it starts to clash. a regular guy. But it always ends up not working out because the yeah. other person's insecurities. Yeah, and then my one of my friends was like, <laughs> you know, uh, I forgot what he said. Something about everyone was looking at y'all like, what the fuck are you doing with him? <laughs> <laughs> always. Always. I always see couples and I'm like, like he, he's not that good looking and she's really hot. And I'm like, you know. I mean, I guess I, I normally go for personality because like looks fade. Like you can have a there badass personality. Yeah, true. And you can be hot and yeah. your personality can fucking suck. Right, or right, you right, can right, be right. decent looking and have a badass personality and we click it and we're cool. And that's that's I basically go for personality because if yeah. fa- fa- I mean looks fade. I mean I totally hundred you know? percent agree. Yeah. True, yeah, true. You know? yeah. Looks will and fade. And then if we're living if we're, you know, together forever, I mean we're eventually gonna get fatter or like, you know, grow and, and, and you know, and, and the thing is is like right, it's like like we've talked about on the show before, <laughs> like the new car smell will go away eventually. In the beginning, it's like I would, I could, I want to do whatever it takes to sleep with this woman. And then when you finally do it, and you've been doing it normally and for months, it becomes normal sex. Yeah. And it, at first, it was like, oh my god, if I could just have sex, with this. and then it's just like, yeah, I, I had sex before work good. today, tight, right? <laughs> yeah, so that's yeah. what I'm trying to say. It's like it starts to like you're right eventually, no. and if sex the personality should never stop, no, not stop, but it no. just starts to lose its. It shouldn't start to lose. Well, it. like you start planning it. Sometimes it does. Yeah, you put it on nine the calendar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nine you o'clock. know it's you know it's our anniversary. <laughs> it's gone. Bend over. <laughs> it's 
get this thing going. Uh, yeah. I want to miss friends. <laughs> 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 you know, friends oh is God. coming on I in about 30 this, minutes. <laughs> I watched this movie and she had it like 9 o'clock p.m. day. Uh, oh. sex time. It was so funny. I could not do that. No, I have to. I, I'm very not sexual when I'm with What do you do? You get ready and you just lay in bed. weird time. I'm in here. <laughs> I'm ready with the legs all open. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, have a, Come I get, get out of here. <laughs> but you see what I'm saying though? Yeah. Like, it, but it does happen. Is what I'm no, trying to say. Yeah, it Everything does. loses its like. But that's what it's it, new it, feeling eventually. But it shouldn't. You should always have that spark, and you should always, even if you're with somebody for a long time, you should always still try to be like you're not well, you, with them yet. Well, you're still trying will, to fight to keep them, like yeah. you're, like you did at the very first beginning of the relationship. Like yeah. you're doing all you can do to. to to get her, mm-hmm. you need to continue doing that. Yeah, no matter I mean, what. I, think dudes, I mean, it sounds I think nice. Dudes also, and I mean, it might be girls too, but they, we tend to forget that there's people constantly getting at this person, probably, or you know, there's people that want yeah, this there's person. A, there's, at work. there's people yeah. lining up to, yeah, to, to exactly. date, to date yeah, whoever you're forget. with. And you, and you take it for granted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We that's, forget. Forget. that's a good point. Good point, dude. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. Hey, how about this? Have you ever gotten like, you know, tricked by? The life they portray, and they look like they're so much fun and this and that and the other. But then when you finally do get to meet them and kind of do get to <laughs> date them or whatever, then you find out that they're just fucking alcoholics. That's all it really oh. is. And so you're like, they look <laughs> fun online. Like, they're always partying. They're always having a great time. Oh, my God. I wish I could. He looks like so much fun. Or she looks like so much fun. I bet we would have a blast. And then when you finally fuck with them, like, get with them for the first time, they're, like, fucking, like, a hurricane, bro. <laughs> like, this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, I currently have an eye on somebody like that. Right well, now. stop it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stop having an eye. In the butt, red bro. flag. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll I'm, do it for you. <laughs> yeah, I think I've seen that red flag already currently. Yeah, stop it. No. But you feel me, though? It's like, uh, it, that happens a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she I looks mean, like a fucking blast. And then when we hang out, it's like, dude, she's... <laughs> Fuck. A Wake, lot of wakes men. up with the shakes and shit. Well, when they get real drunk, they get into like either they're fucking mean as fuck, yeah, or they're yeah. fucking emotional as fuck. Yeah. Like this is our first date. You're crying about your life to me, like bitch. I don't even know you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like I just wanted to bang you, and like I didn't want to hear your life story. Yeah, yeah and you should be able to handle your, handle your alcohol on the first date. Yeah. I mean, I'm not no, I'm not saying I do all the time. Like I'll get fucked up on first dates, but we're both getting fucked up. We're having a good time, you know. Right. But I'm not getting like sloppy drunk, and neither are they. But, what, but I guess what I'm saying is. If a meltdown occurs, first day meltdowns are bro. I never like, had one. Yeah, of those. that's okay. I have. Yeah, I've I've had I haven't had one, one of those either. Thank fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel bad for you, bro. Well, when I was single, I was a hoe. I had a bunch of hoes, so yeah. it's like it's a lot of. You're like next. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, right? Scheduled two in one night just in look, case. And you're, and look, and you're learning I'm it now. We're gonna fresh, have a early you know. early dinners because I have a ten o'clock one. Yeah. <laughs> Man, good thing I still. You know that one girl just got off of work. I can, if I can get out of here just in time. <laughs> What did you? What were you doing tonight? Nothing. Nothing. Lay up. <laughs> What's up? But you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. but look, you you know, right? Because you've been you've been single, you've been single. You're you're seeing it now. See, and I was single for a big portion, mm-hmm. you know, for a big portion of time. And this dating life is like that. Like, it's like, eh, 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 it does get very like, you know it's what like I'm saying? Like Tinder in real life. It, <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty Yo, much. Yo, you fucking yeah. hit it, dude. It's true. Like Tinder in real life. Like it starts to get like. So it's like you can see why some people is like they've been single forever. You yep. know what I mean? Because yep. it's like it's it's hard, bro. Yeah. It's hard, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And it's the, just, yeah, I mean, people are just not who they say they are anymore, you know, or they act like they are and then like you said, I mean, they're a person they're not. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, like it's just so a person can't keep up a fakeness about themselves for too long. They eventually yeah. start showing their true colors and who they really are. So. Yeah, true, true. Agreed, agreed. And that agreed. happens, though. Honestly, I think almost, maybe not in all relationships, but I think uh, that does happen. Like, when y'all, especially when y'all move in together, that's when you really find out, oh, like, man. you know what I mean? The little you things move that in they together, that's when you slide. find out the worst yeah. stuff. Like, at the beginning, you let a lot slide, but after a while, it's like, yeah, mm-hmm. like, you're, like, yeah. I mean, is, you're always going to learn something about somebody throughout the whole relationship. Mm-hmm. Like, regardless and, yeah. and that's fine because it's it's understandable and it's it's you know human nature but like from going from one thing to a complete opposite like yeah. dude like mm-hmm. you know y'all should be and i'm not y'all but y'all <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah y'all should be yourselves i mean if yeah. you're gonna be a certain True. way then be that way like yeah. if they're gonna like you they're gonna like you if they're yeah. not gonna like you then yeah. it, it's 
you're what you're gonna have them for a couple of months and then you're gonna be yourself and then it's gonna be over like yeah, you're wasting true. time like yep. what's the yeah, point yeah that's why we say yep. if you're a piece of shit own that shit bro exactly I'm, yeah. fine. I'm totally fine with being toxic the whole world hears it all the time <laughs> I am not toxic <laughs> I am don't fuck me over I, I am very toxic, toxic. <laughs> I am very toxic I'm, I'm toxic. look if I was born a hot chick I'd be a mess if me and my personality been in a hot woman you're not lying bro nigga it would have been oh my god They've been saying yeah, that for like Krim 25 would be I would have pulled up in a Bentley. I would y'all would have been like this bitch, <laughs> Bentley, fucking. You know what I'm saying? This this bitch hasn't worked in ten years. Like I'm yeah. that bitch. You feel me? Like you would have been one of those ones affected with the OnlyFans. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, yes. Yes. that would have killed. Me. That would have took that personal. <laughs> if I was a woman, that would have been. I would have been like, God damn it, we gotta figure some shit out. You know what I'm saying? I'm Zero just saying. Works if I was born, that's why God didn't make me a hook because uh, He knew. Yeah, I would have been a Fuck the motherfucker. Well, not all of us do that. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> yeah, no, some of y'all have morals and shit. Yeah, but guess. I'm saying, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have any morals. I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't give a fuck. <laughs> yes. I wouldn't give a fuck. But, anywho, so yeah, so people do, like you said, the, the people portray a life that they're not. And yeah. then when you meet them finally, it's like, you know, and you know, that, yes, that kind of ties in with what we said earlier about sometimes they're not as, you know, as. You know their personality is so big on a on a fucking on a wall, mm-hmm. but not in real life. Yeah, and that matters a lot to me. A lot. I a like lot. you how you are in person. Like yeah. I like that. Yeah, because you're gonna be with them. Yeah, exactly. Not, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You want to be with that. You want to be with who you want to be with, and you want them to be who they are. And yep, and that's why the good, the the best, and the worst thing that ever happened to America is internet. Yeah, I agree. The best and the worst because it, because it's great that it gave everyone a voice. But it's horrible that it gave everyone a voice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Feel me? Yeah. Because, like, even morons can have a Facebook. Even morons can have an Instagram. Even, I mean, like, come on. Like, there's people catfishing people. There's this. I mean, it's like, it's the worst thing that ever happened. But at the same time, it's like there's so many entrepreneurs coming out of it. There's so many people becoming millionaires. I mean, we could be millionaires and, and have a big old show on Sirius XM off of doing it. Like, it, it's possible. Things. And it also, like, the internet also made scams, like, crazy big. Yeah. Like, Compared yeah, to like yeah. phone scams or whatever used mm-hmm. to be in the 90s, now it's like fucking the, the everything. Big, the, scam, biggest, bro. the biggest scam is catfishing. <laughs> Stop. Yeah, <laughs> bro. Have y'all seen that show? Yeah. It's hilarious. Fuck yeah. It was on <laughs> MTV, right? That show. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. watching it. It's so Fuck funny. Fuck yeah. Dog, I feel bad for them niggas at the end, though. <sighs> when they had to go to the car and see. And then they're just like, you know, you see their face and like, you and you know, feel bad and you know how the they let them sit with each too, other when like, they let them up. sit with each other. And the other one's like, you know, I really love but you. I though. Mean, I'm just how like, could, what yeah, the how fuck? can you fall in love with somebody you've <laughs> never met? Yeah. I don't know, man, because the world's a different. I, I won't judge somebody for that, but I will judge somebody for lying. As far as falling in love with somebody you never met, I won't. I would never judge that. But uh, I will lying about the whole <laughs> thing. <laughs> lying about the whole thing, I think is wrong. I will. <laughs> because yeah, in a sense that shitty. because in right. a sense is in a sense that's everything you just said you want somebody no, for a personality totally that, that's yeah. a, you're feeling you fell in love with the personality yeah yeah but you can't fall in love with writing somebody you're falling in love with yourself because you're reading it yourself mm. you know mm. it's, it's like, like your own voice in your head oh yeah, my and day. your Ooh. own image yeah, that's Man, crazy. You, just, <laughs> Man, you just blew my mind nigga yeah. <laughs> that is crazy she blew my mind with that you're everybody welcome. it's like a mirror <laughs> Yeah. It's a you're fuck welcome. when you said you're falling in love with yourself, like yeah, because you're reading it and you're oh reading it my in your own. God. Yep. Yeah. Wake up call. Like like wow. when you, like, like when you read books, you read the books, right? Yeah. yeah. And then when the movie comes out, you're like, I didn't picture him like that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know? Oh. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, how do you fall in love with somebody that you don't even know? True. Yeah. Golly, dude. That's you, super true. I never thought of that. I feel like yeah. you're like you like you're about to fucking wake a lot of niggas up with this one. Well, I'm <laughs> that was a, jam. a lot of niggas too. By Sunday, <laughs> by Sunday night, a lot of guys are gonna break up with the Yeah, girl. yo, bitch, I can't send you money no more. Uh, uh, this if y'all need, on this show. If y'all need my Venmo to send it to me instead. <laughs> <laughs> Let me She's know. Real, look. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send you pictures of my toes. She's real. <laughs> She's right here. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, but it's true. Damn, man, I never thought about it that way. You know what I'm saying? How many times have you sweet talked to a girl and you didn't fucking mean any of the bullshit you said her? Sent her, text her, told her. I didn't mean anything Cram. I said? Yes. Oh, all the time. Exactly. And, 90%. They, and, they, ate it, and they ate it up. Oh, you're so all sweet. Of it. And it all girl. of it. He's Yo. a sweetheart. At yeah. the end of the night, I'm like a I'm like a fat dude at a table just licking the... <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. The bone on the ribs and shit. Yeah. You should see me when I come through the door. I, I fucking, when I, when I take off my shirt, I shoot that hole like a basketball, like in the, in the dirty clothes. <laughs> Oh my god, I can I shit, feel bad dude. for your wife. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Fuck, number one tolerator. <laughs> yeah, she had that right. Yeah, I'm just kidding, man. You liar. <laughs> Imagine. Good day. <laughs> We're gonna have to tell her Kobe. to record, to record one of those. <laughs> We're gonna have to get her to record what you doing that one day. Oh, we didn't do a, a skit of that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Me in the room. That Kobe. Funny hell as yeah. Be funny as hell. You, Take can, it my you can replay where he's like. <laughs> <laughs> after what hey. happens after after a uh, one night stand that went well? <laughs> we're gonna follow Krim and we're gonna see. I'm fucking. You know uh, when you jump in the car, you put on that fucking like Justin Timberlake music and you're just like. Now it makes sense. Really, yeah. Justin Timberlake? Yeah, but like the fucking like club <laughs> one. Because normally I don't listen to that. But after that went well, I'm gonna put some JT, dude. JT <laughs> going down on the way home with that JT. It could be oh. old school in sync on there the way home. Oh. And I know the words all of a sudden. I'm sure you do. <laughs> you know, I'm like, yeah. it just went down. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying. But did you go down? No, nope. no, never. No. What did you way. say in the chat? But no, my I'm mouth, in, my choice. I just think it's. They <laughs> sure did. My mouth, my choice. My mouth, my choice. What if it's like yeah. a million of us? Yeah. <laughs> like, That's a new hashtag. My mouth, my choice. And he put the fist yeah. With the fist. Yeah. If you don't want to suck his dick, you don't, girl. You don't do it. <laughs> you just say no. <laughs> don't let her oh make you eat her pussy. Fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> she's like what have I gotten myself into I'm like oh lord <laughs> Man, <I'm> like, <laughs> she's like I'm going to be single for the rest of my life <laughs> oh you know what Why? which that's a great thing that, that <laughs> puts me in a good way to change the subject something that you said that I thought was fucking great was yeah. when it's too sexual too fast it's like to you that's oh, yeah, I've never a red been flag about, about this what is it sexing is that sexting, how you say it sexting yes oh, I've yeah, never yeah, been yeah. about that like Talk That's dirty weird. to me. I, love I don't fucking know how. I love <laughs> sexting. I love, like, I love to, yeah. I like you. Uh, sexting is like, you know, like when you're about to cook on Thanksgiving and you're doing all the shit to the turkey before you put it in the oven. That is so gross doing all that stuff. But no, turkey. but that's sexting. That's the equivalent of sexting. You're well, like, this bitch is going to be so good when I cook it. The turkey. Oh, this hoe's going to go hot. You're like, you're like yeah, you know what I'm saying? Do you, that fucking, when I cook my you put the fucking stovetop in this bitch. You're like, it's like you're getting it prepared. Yeah. Because it's about to be Thanksgiving. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what it's like. Yeah, see, it's the for equipment. me, I don't do that sexing. It's just not my thing. I, mm. Yeah. Have you ever sent yeah. pics? I mean, what kind? <laughs> the bad kind. The uh, bad I thing. mean, I'll send implied. But that's if we're already having sex and like, you oh. know, and that's like, but before, and, and, no. and that's what we're in a, if we're in a relationship, first okay. of all. Okay. Um, and it is not showing like my areola or my vagina is not fucking showing. It's just something that, you know, if you try to post it somewhere, it's okay. Cause it's nothing really. Yeah. Okay. I got you. You know, um, yeah, but I don't text that kind of stuff either. Yeah, <laughs> Unless yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, with yeah. There with somebody, you know? But you know what? Even on the guy's end, right? Because you're probably thinking, like, uh, what guy's not going to like a sexter? But it's not true. Because if a girl overly sexts in the beginning, it's like, on my end, don't get me wrong. I'm I, Hell yeah, it's fucking I dope. Say. But, <laughs> yeah. but I'm here for I, it. <laughs> but I'm just going to smash. I'm not going to take her serious. Well, see, with me, it's just like... Feel me? Yeah. I'm still fucked. You're telling me but I'm not gonna stuff, like, but you haven't even fucked me. And you're like saying all this, it just turns me off. It's like, like all this yeah. stuff you want to do to me, like yeah, like is like, that all you want nigga. me for? Is the fuck? Because if I mean, okay, can okay, we, like can you buy me dinner first? And <laughs> yeah, yeah, we yeah, can work on the it up. That's what I'm trying to say. It's like making the turkey ready. Yeah, but don't make the turkey before. It's like a flower. You gotta water it. True. Yeah, like take True. me. I don't know. I'm just not like that. Like I'm. Like I said I'm shy. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. And you're no, absolutely I don't like right. That sexy yeah. But you know, at the very beginning, like you know, get to know me. You know. Yeah. Okay. Get yeah. To know me. Yeah. Um. Let's you know go out on a couple of dates. Let's you know fuck mm-hmm. first, and yeah. then you know. But if you know you wanna, what? Like after we're dating and we're fucking, and you want to send me, man, I can't wait to do this to you tonight. Then okay, that's a little bit. Yeah. Then you're like, oh, okay. But like you telling yeah. me this and got you, then, got you, got you, know, you. Yeah. It, we haven't even gone out yet. It's kind of like um. Even me on my even end though. That's all you want, and I'm. Yeah. I'm 40. I'm I'm not trying to just smash somebody yeah. and, and call it a day. Like if I'm fucking you, 
we're in a relationship like right, right. you know or it's heading that way it's not going to be just like yeah. one of those flings i'm gotcha. i'm too old for that you know mm-hmm. i don't want to play games i don't know yeah it makes, uh, sense. makes sense yeah yeah, yeah. on my on my does. end on my end like you know what i'm saying like um like i always leave it in the girl's court i don't start talking that talk until she does and yeah. she starts then i'm like okay cool she's She's, you know, she went that direction with it. Yeah, but I never gonna, do it myself. Yeah, but you'll probably like see where how far she goes, and then you'll match it. Right, instead of, like, and that's what I mean. I always yeah. let them, you know, even on a first date, I don't just be like after the date is over with. I don't go in like she has to give me the vibe that she wants, like a kiss at the end of the night. I can't just. I'm not that kind of guy. Yeah, the like first move. You're not the first uh, yes, move. I yeah. want to see her energy. I got. I always let a woman control the night. Mm-hmm. Always. I don't assume shit. I let her run the night. Like, what about what about the females that get mad when you don't make the first move? Or yeah. there what's is, the rule? It happens. Like, how do you um, feel? I don't you know. You make the first move, or the guy's supposed to make the first. What do you think? Move? Yeah, I guess who? it's just on the vibe of the date. You know, yeah. there's times where I've made it. You okay. Know, I have no shame. I like, love that's not women a when they do that. Opinion, though. Like, that's I love when women do that. If we're vibing and you know you're like just kind of like making eye contact i'll fucking kiss you like i have no problem with that you know awesome um such a great icebreaker what about what do you think about the guy what it makes the whole night why do some girls get mad when the guy doesn't and you're just trying to be a gentleman exactly why do girls maybe maybe because they're too shy at the end of the first date not first date maybe but not really i mean maybe the girls just uh Wants to know how maybe you're how interested you are. I don't know. I've never had that problem. Yeah. I've never had a guy not try to kiss me at the end of the date. I've pulled back. No, <laughs> but, <laughs> no I'm I've saying that's why I don't do it. Yes, <laughs> I'm not that's gonna the look like that. Fear, dude. So I'm like, just like, all right, you know, I had a good time, and saying. I just kind of see how close she's getting, and yeah. I'm like. I, I feel like this is like a 75% shot right now. <laughs> yeah, but this, like I said, it all goes back to how the vibe's going throughout yeah. the date. If the vibe is like cool, but like we're like chilling, like we are right talking right now. Like, yeah. Yeah. And you try to kiss me and we're like just cool talking. I'm kind of going to cut it yeah, yeah, back, yeah. you know? Yeah. But if yeah. we're like vibing and it's a but different kind of But women are very feeling, good at like, like, you know, making you think that they had, that they had a, such a good time to the point that they would be okay with it. Women are good at like making you feel like, Dude, I've been like I've been doing pretty good all night. Like I can, right? Like women know how to like f- flirt the right just enough that it feels like maybe this is going great, right? <laughs> women are good at that. I, I mean, I don't know. I don't. I, I don't fake shit, so I can't say for sure. Well, I'm, I'm saying, sure some do do that because they want a free meal. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but man, like, that's a I thing mean, too, not me. Man. I'm just hey, like that's a thing. You know, if it's going good, like I said, yeah, I'll fucking make the first move. I. I don't care, mm-hmm. you know. If I want something, like I said, I'm gonna get it. Yeah. So it just depends, I guess, on the person and like the vibe. It has the vibe has to like be going. I agree. And y'all should be able to feel that vibe too. If mm-hmm. y'all are feeling each other, then you should go for the first kiss because you feel in the vibe and it should it sh- you should get kissed back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 true. Yeah, and true. that's why pretty much I leave it in their hands, dude. Because I like I said, I need to feel their energy, and I'm not a creep. As much as I talk my shit on here, I'm not a creep and on a real date, and you know, <laughs> yeah. I just like think it's uh-huh. funny or whatever. <laughs> you know, so if I was a creep. I wouldn't have a, been with the same woman as long as I've been with the same woman. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. So I'm just saying I'm not as bad as you know. It but I've been like, yeah. wild in my life, you yeah, know. Yeah. And that's why I know so many stories because I did so much shit. You know what I'm saying? But you know, for the most part, I've always been a good guy. I've always been respectful. I've always been, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm saying I always put it in her court. Yeah. You know, one, you know, I let her kind of make me feel like she starts doing like she'll start. I'll, you know, I'll be like, oh, I'm going to the gym or something after work. What you doing after work? Oh, I'm going to the gym. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you, oh, you know what I'm saying? You, oh, you look, you know. Oh, that's good. That's why you look so sexy. That's why. And I'm like, oh shit, she's shooting. She's saying shit, and I'm like, okay, cool. So now I feel comfortable telling her stuff. It's like so yeah. I kind of like let her yeah. do it. Is what I'm saying. I let her push the, you know, the the ball closer and closer to the field goal. You know what I mean? Like that's how I am. That's you know, good. I gotta I mean, feel it out. Yeah, you have to fill it and, out. You know, you don't want to make a woman feel too like too like disrespected. I yeah, don't like I mean, that. It's bad to be pushy. Yeah, all around, exactly. Bro, like, I don't, don't like be, being pushy. Yeah, don't be pushy no. and don't be blowing up. I, it's such. No. I hate it when they're like blowing up my phone. See, oh shit! Yeah, yeah I don't yeah, do yeah. that either. Like That's I try to be thing. like. But then it annoys me too when they're like not being responsive too. Like God, mm. this is the worst. <laughs> no, <laughs> this is like a fucking double edged sword. Right you here. So <laughs> no, what I mean. I don't want you to hear everything you just said. I know. I, I, when I said it, I looked up because I know how it sounds. <laughs> what paradox. I mean is, yeah, <laughs> I know how it sounds like. Um, but I know what you're saying because you know how like, guys are like extent. I gotta wait a little bit before I reply or I don't yeah, wanna I don't wanna, I don't I don't wanna, wanna text them that. right away because we just I just got her number let me wait mm-hmm. three days no oh, fool God. if I give I you my that. number like, and you wait busy. three days to text me 
you're gonna be left on red. <laughs> I hate that. Like I don't want to text. I hate don't that. I don't want to text, text you back right away. I want to uh, wait but three hours because I'm busy. Feel like but why that. Is it, yeah, yeah. Why does it have to be like, like that? If you're busy, if I text you and you're busy, say it. Re- exactly. Can I text you back? I'm yeah. kind of busy exactly. right now. I'm sorry. Exactly. I'm at work. Exactly. Like, hey, we're busy. I, I'll, I'm busy okay, right cool. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all you gotta say. Courtesy. Dude, yes. That's, so that's what I meant when yep. I said yep. I don't like it when they're when they're complete when they're too much texting. But I don't like it when they don't text because it's one of those like if I text you yeah. and then you text me the next day, mm-hmm. but yeah. when you've looked at my stories, <laughs> yeah. I know your ass oh, wasn't that shit. busy yeah. exactly. to fucking reply to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, crazy. so that's what yeah. I'm talking about. Like you're busy, cool. Let me know you're busy. I'm not gonna, it's, yeah, I'm not gonna bug level. you. But if I don't reply to you right away, it's because I am busy. Because if I'm if I'm not busy, well, okay, it's because I'm busy. Yeah. Or I thought I replied back and I didn't push send. <laughs> Damn. Oh yeah, it's just because stuck that's there. Happened in the little, a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, don't blow up my phone if I don't text you back right away. Like, give me like five ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree with that though. Like, yeah, we can like to. you can we can text back and forth. It doesn't have to be like fucking all day long. But like, you know, let's give yeah. examples. Yeah. Give examples. Yeah. Give examples. Like, What's the worst did. that a guy has ever like? Like, yeah, just, give us an example yeah, before yeah. we switch oh, gears. Guys, yeah. I don't remember. I was married and I'm just now single again. Oh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I get it. I get it. Okay. I'm just kidding. Let's see. <laughs> what, what, uh, what, zo- we, what zodiac sign will you not date? Uh, right at the moment, it's Scorpio. Right at the Sorry, moment. Sorry, guys. <laughs> right at the moment, don't give up. Scorpio. Don't give up. <laughs> <laughs> you stick in there, Scorpio. Uh, hey, uh, see how bad you want it. <laughs> but you know what, though? My daughter, my oldest daughter is a Scorpio. And let me tell you, bro, they are like very like. They're tempers. Bruh. No shit. You get on their bad side, bro. They, it's like, it's a while to get back on the good side. Damn. They their hold grudges. Are, yes, yes. They hold grudges. Big time. That's crazy. See, I didn't know I, that. I'm big and on the signs, too. And they're still holding the grudge. <laughs> See? <laughs> still mad at me? Yeah, no. It's like that girl. We're still dating. I didn't even, <laughs> yeah, no, that is up. like a totally different thing. <laughs> 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 that is like you're, some, you're no. You're still married. <laughs> that, is, <laughs> that is. Okay, so here's another thing. What about if they have like, okay, Bray's, you two, everybody. Is it like if the person has way too many friends, is that like a sign of like a red flag to you? Because they have way too, like they're like, if y'all, y'all go out on the first date and it's like everybody, hey, you know, let's make up a guy, Jacob, 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 Jacob. And you're just like, I'm usually the one that everyone knows. <laughs> yeah, I don't think when that's I a bad a thing. I don't, I don't. You don't? Well, yeah, I mean, I I'm guess, usually when I everybody knows. I'm it depends though, because if it's know. the opposite sex, then it's kind of weird too, because it's like, fuck, dude. Like, yeah. How many dudes do you know if it's a girl or See, how many girls some do you know guys that's why I said like, that's, that's how I am like if we go on a first date especially if it's in town somewhere I'm gonna know the bartender the owner somebody's gonna know me there yeah 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 so for them the guy it's first sex for the guy because they're gonna probably think that but I've been in the industry for like 20 something years like yeah. I know everybody I can't go anywhere without somebody knowing who I am but gotcha, some people gotcha. are fucking stupid dude because some people a lot of people are stupid. the other day <laughs> look and I'll tell you an example the other day a friend of mine we were having a conversation and he was like saying like he came up to me you know I guess he was doing like a little survey with the rest of our little group and he comes up and he goes and he, he had a, a homegirl with him and another friend of mine with him too so he's like asking me because he just asked them yeah. to see what I'd say basically you know you know he was saying like you know uh, uh, would you date a stripper that's what he asked me and I said yeah and then he's like you know no nah, I get it I get it she's fine you know and I was like no but would you take one serious he told me and I said yeah and then he's it's like all about trust and he's so I'm like yeah I would and then he's like, for real? Uh, he's trying to like dog Shit it. And I was like, answer. but I was like, bro, because she works at a strip club doesn't mean she fucks everybody. Yeah, exactly. It's like, you can be exactly. a stripper and you did your job and you went home. There yeah. you go. I was like, I'm yeah. not judging her. I was like, I don't know her situation. But that all goes about trust and securities. And securities. Yeah. But still, but look, but like, also too, people put a bad stigma on like, if a girl knows a lot of guys, she has to be a hoe. If yep. a guy knows a bunch of girls, he has to be fucking them all. If, but like, you know what I'm saying? Not everyone's yeah. like that. I know, I get it. But some people. Still think that, yeah. For them, it's a red flag. Yeah. Some people. Yeah, I mean, to me, it's not a red flag because, like I said, I've been in the industry so long, everybody knows who yeah. I am. Even, like, if I don't know who they are, they know who I am. Yeah. So it's just, it happens that way. Yeah. Well, what about the, the type of people? Because, like, like I, I remember back in the day, oh, my the dad type of people that come up. Me, he was like, you show me who you hang with, I'll show you, you who you are. Oh, so if a bunch of thugs are coming up to him and they look like... <laughs> You know, like they kind of being up some dirt. You'll be like, oh, I don't know if I should keep dating this guy. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like, yeah. um, I mean, people change if they want to change. So you True. can hang out with so the bad crowd. So you're trying to be judgmental. No, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm yeah, not one yeah. to judge, you know. If, right, right. 
if you do something bad to me, then I'm going to judge you for that. But I'm not going to judge you for shit I hear from other people because, I mean... Good shit. You know, Good shit. Golden people, rule. there's always three stories to every Bing. fucking, every, ta- everything has three stories. Mm-hmm. Yeah. His, hers, and the truth. Mm-hmm. So, and then people are adding on shit and making it so much different yeah. than what it's it like happened. like the telephone game and yes. shit. Yes. Yeah, true. So, true. I mean, if I don't see it, I'm not going to believe it. Yeah. Gotcha. Type shit. I, I agree with that. Yeah. 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 I agree with Same. that. You know, and everybody has, a, you're a bitch to somebody because of your, you're their ex. You're a crazy bitch because you're somebody's ex. Like, you're always going to have somebody talking shit about you. So, Always. you know, if they want to fucking believe it, fuck it. Let them believe it. You know, who gives a shit? I don't. What True. about you, Braze? We hear it from her end, right? And she's, <laughs> you know, she's obviously, she's a bartender. She, you know, she's been in, she's done a lot of parties and things that are big. So a lot of people know her. It's different. But like, what about you? A guy that's more <laughs> low key. I know you, you're a low key guy, whatever. And the girl you go on a date with knows everybody. Can you, are you all right with it? Yeah, I'll be all right with it. I mean, you got to think about it. She might be a model. She might be a... Social person that's in different but you wouldn't nightlife atmosphere. No, you can. I mean, if you're trying to get to know her, you gotta you gotta know how to get past that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But do you think most guys like they get like they pretend that they're past it and then they're really not? No, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, really but you also it. gotta yeah. gotta <laughs> think about it. Like, if people come up to me, I'm gonna introduce them to whoever I'm with. I'm gonna tell mm-hmm. the guy, hey, I don't know his name. I'm gonna sell <laughs> sell him yours and just listen to his because I don't remember his name. Yeah. You know, and I'll do that all the time. But I introduce whoever I'm with. I'm telling them, hey, this is my dude. This is such and such. Like, mm-hmm. I'm introducing mm-hmm. you to every single person. If That's they a good don't, sign. if mm-hmm. they don't introduce you to them and they're kind of like, oh my bad. Oh, hey, I'll be back. I got that, friends over there. You're yeah, like, then that's kind of sketchy. I yeah, like ate definitely. you out yesterday. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, I can't know these niggas. <laughs> I can't know them. You know what kind of disgusting shit I did last night that I hate myself, hate myself for this morning? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Imagine you wake up in the morning, you go wash your face, you're like, who, what, did you, what have you done? <laughs> Uh, you should take a shower afterwards. You never look at someone like, why? You don't shower. Like, Wait, like, you don't shower you used after to be you normal. had sex? Uh-oh. You used to be normal, Grim. <laughs> you used to be normal. <laughs> you don't shower after you have sex? Yeah. You liar. I have to. <laughs> it depends. Oh, no. Maybe not right or right away. What about, what about the girls? Yeah, what if we're still no, laying in our it. juices? Uh, what about... <laughs> it happens. No, no. <laughs> All right, like, so you're supposed oh, to... Oh, so as soon as... Okay, he, he, you know, he disposes of himself... <laughs> And then you're just like, all right. And you're like, right away? Yeah. Right away. I'm taking a shower. You don't chill for a second. <laughs> Fuck no. Come I need on, to shower. Dude. I'm not going to lie. I Why don't do shower every girl, time after sex. That's I weird. Why? Why? Some because I'm going to take a shower after I have But you can chill for a second? No. Yeah, you, you know what? I can't, I can't shower too. You know what? I can't even judge <laughs> you, dude. Join me in the shower. I can't judge her, dude. It's like, as soon as I'm done, I'm getting ready to leave. Damn. Right away. I, I You're right. So when you get home, you shower? Yeah. Okay. See. But I'm saying I'm like I'm, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh-huh. I don't yeah. hang out and shit. Like so, fuck. I can't even judge you, dude. I, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I I'm out the door too. Did you, give him, uh, did you give him a doggy bag on the way out? Like, you know <laughs> thanks for coming. A snack swag. pack. <laughs> like a swag <laughs> and shit. Yeah. Yeah. A snack pack. Yeah. And shit. <laughs> <laughs> for the road. <laughs> give him road beers. <laughs> give him a roadie. I think I have some Bud Light. A water and a beer. <laughs> take take this Bud Light with you. <laughs> have a good night. <laughs> Shitty, dude. Shitty. That Imagine. is hilarious. So, okay, that's... So, what if she's, like, making herself comfortable, though? Oh, nigga, you gotta and, make up stuff. You gotta start making up stuff. I've done it millions of times. I'm from tree, dude. I'm just asking. I gotta go to work, dude, in the morning, man. I hey, gotta, what if you finish at four and you gotta be up at seven? Bro, you really gotta get out of there. Yeah. No, no, what if she gotta get out of there? Why it gotta be that way? What if you're the one at home and Oh, she has to leave? Yeah. Oh, you gotta tell her. You can't Yo. always think it's us leaving. It could be them. Leaving. All right, cool. You gotta start talking like it's over. Like, like, yo, yo man, it's good, good seeing you and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You gotta start talking that. Bye. You, you it's know. like when you're chilling with your boys. Like, shit. So what you about yeah. to do, bro? Yeah. <laughs> what you gonna get into, bro? Like, yeah, nigga, what you gonna I'm get into? I'm doing it, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. What? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah. Yeah. You know when your girl gives you that look, like. Send them niggas on. Yeah. Uh, you know that look your girl gives you? Yep. And then you give her the look. No, you're going to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but she does. Your, your girl gives you that look. She acts like she's cleaning around the living room and then she's like, yo. Yep. And I you're know, like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's um, the code. Or she wants to get banged out. She'll text you like, come bang me out. And you're like, fuck. You know, I got to get rid of these niggas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. I'm already yep. buzzing. I'm good. Like, you know what I'm saying? She's ready to roll. Yo, y'all niggas got to. 
know what I'm saying? <laughs> I yeah. got shit to do. They got they got to get out the man cave. Yeah, hey, y'all gotta go. But yeah, you got <laughs> yeah. So that's what I'm saying. You gotta start talking that like get out of here talk. Yeah, feel me? Yeah, I feel you. We wrote down. We all threw in in this, and we threw in a bunch of turnoffs, right? And we mm-hmm. put them as mm-hmm. questions. So we'll do like a survey on each one, on each one of us, and not each one of us can explain a, a reason why they believe that or whatever. And it doesn't have to be long, but you know what I mean, yeah. right? All right. So, is unemployment a turnoff? Yes. Yes, definitely. A man should have a job. Definitely. Blaze, is an unemployed woman a turnoff? I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Blaze? Hell yeah. All right. I'm going to say it depends on how hot she is. If she's really hot and she doesn't have a job, you know, God bless her soul, dude. <laughs> you know? Maybe I was sent by God. Maybe God was like, yo, Krim. Take care of her. We need you out here, bro. <laughs> we need you, bro. Bro, come on. We need you to play forward. I get it, man. I get it, dude. If she, yeah, I get it, but nah, bro. No, yeah. uh, it needs to be 50-50. All the way across the board. I don't know. I think I a hot chick would change should, your mind. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> no, I get it. That's old what I'm school, saying. I get old it. school, a man, a husband is supposed to provide. Yeah, yeah. You know, true. So I feel like that still should happen. Mm-hmm. But I wouldn't want to be a housewife and not work. I'm still gonna work, and but you should take bread. care of the bills, and I have everything else type shit. Yeah, you know? I see what you're it's saying. It's still fifty fifty, yeah. but it's not quite fifty fifty. If you well, no, I get it. it. I get times. it. But the thing is, the thing is, times have changed to the point where yeah. the majority of men out here can't do that. Not the not you know can't what I'm saying. Or won't. No, can't. Obviously, like yeah, shit's crazy right now. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, yeah like that's, I know what you're saying. Yeah. The, uh, nowadays, a two income house is the only way it works. Exactly. Because everything's so expensive. Yeah, I don't know what the numbers are, but it's yeah. cra- it's risen a lot since the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Yep. Yeah, a like lot. It, you like, know, it costs crazy. a lot to you know maintain. But yeah, but a, a man's still supposed to provide, so I can't date yeah. an unemployed motherfucker. Exactly. I definitely. You know mean, what? But uh, yeah. that's true too. Like I like you know even when I was single and I was dating again, like I couldn't date a girl that wasn't like if she didn't have her like if she wasn't like had a career going, it just wasn't even for me. Yeah. Uh, that's why I never could date younger chicks. Yeah. Like because bro. it's like we never really had a lot in common. Like you're fun and all that, and you're you're fine, and you know I'll bang you out a few times, but it can't be more than that because it's like you don't really have anything going for yourself for me yet. Like yeah. you know I'm like like I'm not intrigued with you as a person right now. Like Got so, it. right? So it's yep. like dating younger is always like yeah, it sounds awesome. We got this young chick, bro. Yeah. Your homeboys are all crunk. <laughs> right? And then but then when you actually like are with you, you're like like we're like nothing alike. Yeah. Yep. It's but like, I mean it's opposites hard. attract. You shouldn't be too Well, opposites, but age is a whole other thing. Oh yeah, definitely. Ages definitely. is what I'm I saying. I couldn't date anybody that that, yeah, yeah, same age, age as my sisters. I just yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. Like I did it, I did it <laughs> once, and I, I swear it was like all these problems that I, I remembered when I was like eight. Yeah, like I've been through like, that. Oh already. my god, dude! Mm-hmm. Like this is where I'm at again. Like fuck this shit, bro. Yep. Like, yeah, see? they have to be you're my like, age or older, yeah, or same. maybe a year or two under. Mm-hmm. But I mean, if you're my sister's age, then I just I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, yeah, exactly, dude. No? That shit's yeah. trash, bro. Yeah. Because you know, like I, you know, I was out there working construction with my pops and them. You know, and you know, Mexicans, they fucking ain't shit. Yeah. So my dad, you know, <laughs> and then, so my dad and my uncle, like, you know, we'll be out there working and shit, and like we'll go like grab things from like wherever home depot or something and they'll see like the chick working there or something and she's really hot right but she, but i know she's young and you know she can't be but like 19 20 yeah. and then like you know my dad's like oh that chick's hot whatever he says some shit like some kind of comment and he's like right what do you think and i'm just like i can't i can't say nothing and then my dad's like why well, what's wrong with you and i'm like bro i have a 19 year old daughter like it just seems weird yeah, yeah bro yeah. you know what i'm saying like i'm like i can't i get it she might be of age but like my daughter's 19 bro yeah. like yeah. it doesn't like it's just that's like it's horrible yeah yeah <laughs> to me it's like that's like me banging my daughter's home girl yeah and see that shit's crazy. weird it's crazy that's bro gross yeah yeah and that's what i'm saying so it's like it since I have daughters, it's hard for me to see Just a younger chick. Just does not mean you should, bro. Honestly, yes, yeah. I and agree. You, and that's something you find out later. Exactly, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it sounds fucking dope. <laughs> Anyways, there's another one. Yeah. What about if they're a cheap tipper? Y'all go out to eat, and then like you see what like this nigga's on some like. I've been in the industry for way too long, and if you tip less than twenty percent, and still have the nerve to be tip, like, can I call you, you some time? You can tip twenty percent. <laughs> just. I tip 20% if it's a bad service. If it's good service, I'll tip more. Yeah. If you can't at least do the 20, foo, we, yeah. I'm That's how I made all my money from tips. So that to me, it's like. You know or, how much it matters to the yeah, person working. Yeah, you know, they, they don't make hourly like most people do. It's yeah. just tips, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, that would bug me. 
And also how they treat the staff. If yeah. they're fucking rude. Yeah, and, if you're a prick, it's like, dude. Yeah, then I can't, like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're working, man. You don't know what's going on back yeah. there. They probably got yeah. 10 tables. They got, I mean, they're fucking up. You don't know what they're doing, dealing with a fucking or if they're relationship new. problem. The kids mm-hmm. are acting up. You don't know what's going on in somebody's life while they're at work. Mm-hmm. Exactly. 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 Especially a social job. That's hard. It is. If you have, like, a shitty things going on at home, but you work in an office, it's easy to mask. You're at the office yeah, all day. Yeah, but yeah. if you're like, your life is a social, like you're a bartender or waiter and like you're going through shit, that's hard to mask. It know, is. At a fucking job like yeah. that. It Everybody's is. like, yo, something up with her, him. But that's where you need to leave your fucking problems outside before you walk into your job. Yep. You, you have to yep. be able to be professional. To be professional but it's harder for somebody in that position, I'm saying. That it, kind of it job. It definitely is. I've been there, done <laughs> yeah. that. Um, but you have to. It's your fucking job, you know? True. Yeah, it's not true. like, you know, you're not going to go to work in an office job and be going through something hard and be crying all fucking day at the office either, right? You're going to nah. get your job done and you're going to work and you're yeah. going to be professional about it. Mm-hmm. Same thing with the bar industry. You have to be professional. Yep. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> you know, you can tell people, fuck you. And not get in trouble because you're in the bar, but you yeah. <laughs> you still have to yeah. be professional about it. Yeah, agreed. Fuck Makes you, sir. Sense. Thank you. <laughs> agreed. But yeah, I'm with you. The way they treat people, the way you know, chip, yeah. t- tipping. Uh, typically, if I'm on a date, I'm the one to pay it anyways. But you know, I'm not a bad tipper. I've never been a bad tipper. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like over the top unless it's like Christmas time. Yeah. And it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you know what I mean? Like, I'm it because, you know, during the holidays, I get a lot more generous. And if I go eat somewhere, everybody does. I'll leave yeah, more money. Everybody does. Like, everybody it'll does. be a big yeah. ass tip because it's just like, you know what, dude? Like, it's Christmas, bro. Because you feel yeah. good, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, I feel great. Yeah. And it makes, yeah, yeah it makes you yeah. feel good. And then they're, you're, you know, that they're taking time right. from their it, family. You feel exactly. it's like a paid forward. Like, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, like, definitely. You, you know, even me, like, you know, like, like, uh, uh, I used to go to a barbershop and it was all ladies, mm-hmm. right? Me and my son would go. Uh, after during oh, COVID, I remember. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. during COVID, things got crazy and we weren't going to get haircuts and then things were just changing a lot and I never went back after. But so I haven't been back. But we would go so often, me and my son on the holidays. I would give them all like uh, all the ladies fucking uh uh like uh Starbucks gift cards or something. Yeah, twenty dollars each. Sweet. Yeah, just cause it's the yeah. holidays. But you know they didn't, they, they were just my barber. But still, you know you but just it's, feel. It's, yeah, yeah, you make that um. That connection and relationship with with yeah with that and you know? you're just like and you know what I'm saying here dude yeah you know so yeah so so uh, you know yeah so I've never really been a bad tipper is what I'm well, saying, that's good you know? but yeah, I, I do bad. feel you though but I said but I guess my purpose of telling you that was is that typically I always paid so I never really saw a, a girl's tipping I've never seen really oh yeah that's true because I've always that's paid a good point. so dude. I never know if she's cheap. Cause I always paid for everything. Yeah, well, that's how you know thing. she's cheap. Cause you had to pay for everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it wasn't cause she wouldn't. It was always cause I was like, you know, I'm the gentleman. Like, no, no, you're good. I always stopped her if she ever tried. Yeah. I've I paid at dates. No, I always pay. I, I don't I think do. a woman should pay. Yeah, I've always. Paid I've too. never let. A I, woman I pay. do it sometimes. Well, not on a first date. For even sure. if I feel like we're just like kind of we like even in the day we kind of friend zone one another or like I feel like I can tell she's not into me that way. I'm still gonna pay. I just, yeah, well, because I invited you. Yeah, and it's like yeah, or you know she still shouldn't pay even if I know like we're gonna just be friends. Yeah. And, and you know or whatever like I'll still pay. You know what I'm saying? It's just the way I am. Yeah, I think most men, right? Right? most men should be yeah, like that. Yeah. They, they gotta pay. It's no, a mad thing. I, I feel like because I want them to know I'm independent. No, like, there's nothing wrong with a girl. I've had it. Pay. Like yeah. I've gone like to the restroom and I come back and then I'm like, let's let's get the tab so we can go. And then she's like, oh, while you're in the restroom, I paid. So I've had it. It's happened. Especially if we go to a bars, because sometimes I get like free drinks. Yeah. And then I have no tab. Then I'm gonna fucking tip. You know. Gangster. That's tight as fuck. True. When I go to my my brother in law's a bartender. And when we go to his his bar slash mm-hmm. restaurant, whatever, and we eat and all that, he always gives us his like you know his discount, discount. and it always is real cheap. And I'm not telling my wife like let's pit, let's tip real real big because we got it for right, cheap anyway. Because you would have spent yeah. the same, so it's like yeah. the fucking ten dollars I paid eighteen for everything we did. We fucking drank a lot, yeah, and we ate good burgers yeah. and all this shit. And so it's like, dude, like you know what I'm saying? Like we and he cut it down to it's like I paid eighteen for all that. Yeah, like dude, leave a twenty dollar tip. Like what the fuck does it matter? Like we just got hooked up. Yeah, it's like come on. You know, you can't be cheap at this point. We got no, this yeah. whole thing. Prefer- it would have been a fucking $80, $90 night, and we did it for 10 bucks. And like, you only man, got 20 the, Yeah, the least. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, what about if they're too pushy or too loud? Like, in, you're out in the public, and it's like, you're at the bar or something, but they're, like, loud to the level. It's like they want everyone to hear the shit they're saying. You're just like, uh, I don't like it. I'm not with it's loud. Cringy, I don't like a loud Ooh. chick. Or they're too, like, a... Attention getter. Not really attention. Ugh. Like, just too, like, 
macho and like I'm a tough guy. I oh, like oh, chest yeah. popped out at the bar, nigga. Oh God, calm down. Yeah, yes. hey, man. Yeah. I'm the gangster, not yeah. you. Yeah, I'll, yeah. Be the, <laughs> I'll beat up anybody. I'm gonna beat the motherfuckers up, not you. I'll you know? kick anybody's <laughs> ass in here. <laughs> or you know, like they try to be just like a uh, yeah, like too. Oh, I don't know how to say it. Like too hard. Yeah, try yeah. to be too hard. Like, calm down, fool. Because it, yeah, it's like yeah, like they think that, that they serious. need to. They yeah. think, it's like they're yeah. still trying to win you over. Yeah, like right. Just, then yeah, they go too far. Out. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. You know, I, but, I like my women girly, man. They gotta be girly, man. Yeah, but I don't like my women too loud. Like, I don't like them to be like loud to where it's like you're you're bringing attention over here, bitch. Shut up. I'm you know? saying like I don't like that. There is females that try to be too gangster with it, and I'm like, I'm gangster. I don't know, know chicks. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? I got real? my nine in my purse. <laughs> nice, nice. I, no, I'm a good hey, girl. what about if? <laughs> hey, what about if you catch if you catch him staring at other women too much? Too much is an issue. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, if a hot chick walks by, I'm a, I'm a look too. Yeah, like it's, it's hard. just human oh, nature. Hard. To yeah, it's hard like, for you know, yeah. How do you not? Like, damn. Know. And I told my like guys I've dated, damn that she, that girl has a nice body. She's she's pretty, and they're like. Yeah, because <laughs> you know, we think it's a trap. Like it's like holy shit, should no, I I'm reply be, I mean, or no? Oh, but <laughs> if you're staring at her a lot, then I'm gonna yeah. be like, do you want me to go get her number for you? Like, but you can tell by her, <laughs> but you can tell by her energy if she's like being cool and playful about it, yeah. and not being a hater. Like if I see you staring, like you can I said, tell. I'm gonna be like, you know, yeah, yeah. There's respect. Yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. you can look because, like I said, it's human nature to if somebody walks in front of you. You're gonna fucking look no, if they're yeah. ugly, sure. if they're yeah. hot, if they're, if they're fat, yeah. if they're fucking bony as fuck. You're gonna look because they walk by. It's just human nature. True. But if you're fucking staring and like disrespect, I think that's disrespectful. Yep. I respect for the person you're with. What about if you're on the True. date and it's like the first time y'all hanging out and they're like const- they like want to Snapchat everything, like y'all hanging out everything. Like so well, you're like yo maybe I don't want to be on your videos, bro. Uh, maybe that's why they're doing chick. it is because they're Over-posting. out with me. <laughs> It and I want to be. be like, ah, yes, I got her. Yeah. <laughs> Look who I'm with. The Scorpio. What are y'all losers <laughs> doing? <laughs> what are y'all losers doing? Yeah, look. look what I'm doing. <laughs> I would do it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to be a bitch. I've done it before just to piss people off. Ooh. I mean. Oh, Ooh. shit. Weapons. Oh. Ops. Black oh. ops shit. Weapons of mass destruction. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. 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 Evil. I can be, pe- I can be petty Evil. when I want to be petty. You know? V, what if you're with, with the, the guy? Cost. I got one for it. What if you're with the guy, right? You're seeing a dude or whatever. You break it off. Like, it's over. And the guy is still posting pictures of you and him after and you. And y'all are done. But you, you're done still like two weeks Still posting pictures of me and him? Well, like making it look like you're still together. Yeah, creepy as fuck. Damn, dude. that is That's weird. Slimy. What would you say? Trying to fuck up shit for what the What would next you nigga? say Girl. or think about that? Bitch, um, I would probably post under his pay <laughs> under the picture. <laughs> like, um, bitch bro, ass nigga. We took that like a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We yeah. haven't been together for for a while. Like, would you call him a bitch ass nigga though? Nah, I'd probably be like, bro, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, fucking crazy motherfucker. Yeah, you said I was the crazy, crazy one, and you're still yeah. posting pictures of us. I'm with you. Um, I've never had that happen, thank God. Um, but typically when I've I... have never had that happen. I mean, if I'm mm-hmm. done with somebody, I delete all your pictures. Me too. Like, from my social I media. I delete everything. From I my did, fucking yeah, phone. phone yeah. Once everything's deleted off my phone yeah. and off my social media, yeah. nigga, it's done. Don't even try to, yes, try yeah. to be back with me. Same thing. I done, I didn't, everything. I didn't cleared you out of my whole cloud. <laughs> yep. You know what? Yep. Me and my yep. wife, we split up and we weren't together for three years, but I never deleted any of her stuff. I, I do Like right pictures. Away. I do. I just... One... I don't know why, dude. I never did. Well, I mean, come on, dude. That's like your wife, wife. Like I know, but like you, I, we, I like, didn't see us ever gonna get back together. And I, well, for maybe some reason, you I didn't might have if y'all divorced. Maybe you didn't because maybe you if knew I did get divorced, gonna, maybe yeah. I would have. Yeah. Me, me, I'm just like, I, it's it's done. I'm over. Well, with. she I'm, wasn't on my social medias and stuff. But I'm talking about as far as pictures in my phone that I had, like from I did them all. memories or something. Yeah, I never yeah. deleted. Yeah, because I don't want to see that shit pop up. Next year on yeah, Facebook, like exactly. You know? I was about to say and, that your memory and, from yeah, this day a year ago, uh, like, oh. and, and you're like, on, <laughs> yeah, depending, on, depending on the breakup, and you're all happy, like, like at the beginning, the girls are the ones that that post a lot. No, at the beginning of a uh, the beginning of a breakup, I guess mm-hmm. when right when you break up with somebody, the girls are the ones that are fucking sad. They're um, healing. They're not I don't anymore. Fucking not see my that. I don't think you know. Uh, the, <laughs> I don't think you know the girls of today. <laughs> Well, that's how I am. So I delete everything. I don't want to. But see you're that like our shit. age. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 But the, <laughs> <laughs> but the girls of like now, like the new ones. Hell no. Nah. 
These bitches are savage. Well, I guess I need to take some notes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get a savage girl on here. I guess, like, you know what I'm saying? Moral of the story is, is anything you do is going to be fucking shitty. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it, um, everybody's kind of crazy. Everybody has their issues. Yeah. You got to just pick which one you pick can wisely. fucking deal with for a long time. you can deal with for a while. Yeah, yeah that you're crazy okay that with, your crazy. with dealing yeah, with. Yeah, or find somebody that lets you be you, man. That's... Well, that's... that's but be you... One. Don't be a fake That's you true. and then you, be right. you. Let you like, be who you really are. Exactly. You know, if you're a guy that feels like you, I don't like to be, you know, I'm not the kind of guy that likes to be committed, settled down to one girl. Then find a girl that's cool with you fucking with other girls, bro. They're out there. Yeah. It's yeah. like, find one that's cool with your shit. Even, no matter how fucked up it is. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty no, fucked up. Fucked it is fucked up. But, <laughs> yeah. but I, there's girls I out there that sharing. are cool with it. Like, as long as you're telling me the truth, then at least you're not like lying. open relationship. I'm exactly. not sharing yeah. shit. Yeah. But I'm yeah, saying some do. school shit, mm-hmm. man. And that's yeah. what I'm saying. It's like, find what fits you. Yeah. But yeah. you're right, too. Sometimes you're going to have to make some compromises. Like, I'm not okay with you talking to other women. Yeah, I'm not okay not with you sleeping happen. with other women. I'm not. Okay. And then it's like, that's the conversation has to take place there. Okay, I agree. And, you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, things have to be agreed on. And, you know, where we have to start making rules when we start dating somebody, you make boundaries, right? Like, okay, you know what I'm saying? We, I don't want this. I don't want that. I want, you know, it. It has to. Did yeah. you do it all in one night or did no? You? Little Not by on little. The first date. Yeah, you <laughs> no, that shit. you can't do Sprinkle this shit, that shit. No, no more. No. <laughs> you have to like. It's like building a foundation. Like you're just you know put under a contract and shit. Like, yeah, <laughs> signing a lease before it's a house. You know you have to. Yeah. You know what I mean? Move a man one yeah. by one. So choose wisely, man. You know what I'm saying? Watch out for the red flags, bro. For sure. Because if it happens once, it's gonna happen again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So watch out for those red flags and everything, and just. You know what? It doesn't matter what we say. They're going to have listened to this for an hour and have and still do what the fuck they want to do. <laughs> <laughs> but there might be that person that's like, oh boy, old girl on that episode. She made a lot of sense. You know what? I'm going to, from now on, I'm going to start looking from out for now that. now on. From now on, from this point forward, I'm not falling for stupid shit. Yeah, and then they're going to fall for it still. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. Well, fuck it, dude. I'm, let's get the fuck out of here because it's already late. Like, what, what, how did you uh, How did you like your first episode? I loved it. It was fucking fun. I was super nervous. Very therapeutic, right? Yeah. In a way? Yeah. I've always felt. Yeah. It's you know, awesome. even if it turns into fuck shit, sometimes it's good, too. Like, I mean, fuck everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but very therapeutic, very like, you know, sometimes you don't realize you thought that way until you hear it out loud. Or sometimes you don't, you, when you hear it out loud, you're like, fuck, why did I let it happen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. Idiot. What the fuck Damn was it. I thinking? Was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but what do you think, though? You're, you're, you you enjoy it? I loved it. I'm so excited to see what, you know, what comes out of this. But yeah. Good shit. Yeah. Great. I'm glad. I'm glad. Great. Manifest. Yeah, manifest. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, shit, man. Uh, Braze, get back to your goodbyes again. So before we go. Uh, my goodbyes. Uh, Shout out to everybody listening to the show. Yeah. We have a new co host. Yes. Uh, drop a comment, hit the like button. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, share, subscribe. Yes, yes. Spread the word, tell people, whatever. You know what I'm saying? What you got, Blaze? Uh, nothing, man. Uh, I want to thank everyone that listens to it on day one. It's good for the algorithm, and I uh, really appreciate it. And we got a lot of subscribers this week, so welcome, subscriber. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, thank you for yeah. subscribing to the channel. We need more, we need more, we need more. You know what I'm saying? So keep on subscribing. And Fucking hopefully right. a woman co-host will help us, uh, you know, get more women to listen. Yeah, and, definitely. Y'all you know like and share. And um, just if y'all want us to talk about a certain topic or want us to answer yes. some questions, we can do yeah. like a end of the day. Oh, that would be fan. telling a Q&A kind of. Let's yeah. do a end of the, the end. End, of the, um, end of the episode um, questions yeah. and answers. I do think Hell that, though, yeah. we should do Hell a segment yeah. and we let you pick. Yeah, you ask somebody, you ask throughout the week any questions y'all want, and I'll bring them up. Yeah, people kind of. We should seeing, definitely do that. Yeah, and you do a, a you we you pick a five or a three that you like the most, and we'll all kind of throw in our opinion at the end. Yeah, of the show. We can or it do can that. even be a situation that they're in in their life. Yeah, and they then, need like, advice anonymously. On you need, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and then we'll say our opinion. Like, yeah, this is what I would do. Yeah, yeah. so y'all start uh, messaging us on all of our platforms well, that y'all can you. message. Uh, message me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on my platform. <laughs> Message, uh, message me if I leave you on red. Uh, I read it. <laughs> uh, maybe. Sorry um, for reading it. <laughs> um, if I don't reply, um, sorry, kind of. Yeah. But hey, <laughs> we might use that question. <laughs> we might use the question. So yeah. yeah, man, just I guess just try to be a little more interactive with us. We're, we're, we're trying to get a little bit more interactive. I've asked, asked a few questions throughout the week too, and I actually did have a few questions, but we went so long that I didn't really get into some of the stuff that people had been saying. For instance, somebody said like, why? Like, are we gonna give like listeners like their own nicknames? 
like you know yeah like their own like army yeah or something that is, I, we're working on it we're working on yeah, it. yeah we'll think of something don't tell them yeah. no just tell them yeah, yeah i don't as of now no yeah i don't know i'm not witty like that we'll yeah. figure something out yeah we'll yeah. figure something out but oh before we do go though i wanted to say um shout out to uh amy brady you know what i'm saying with the brady boutique for this shirt Oh really yeah, cool. that one's clean. I bro. like it. I like it has it. all these H Town legends. Order one Hell from yeah. her. You know what I'm saying? She's on uh, Facebook, Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with her and uh, support. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with local people, man. If you make cool ass shirts, I'll wear them. I'll wear them on here. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? And I'll shout you out. And I'll take a picture with it. I'll do anything I can to help you. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Your business flourish. Yeah. So, Amy Brady, man, thank you so much for the shirt. I love it. You know what I'm saying? I love anything that has to do with H Town. I love it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so me, shit, man. You know what? Appreciate everybody. For uh, listening all the time, appreciate everybody for, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, all the new subscribers, appreciate everybody for their nice, warm comments, things that they say about the show, things, I heard a lot of good things this week, you know what I'm saying, apparently a lot of people like uh, my wife being on the show. Yeah. I did, I was, I, you know, I wasn't not like, like, I'm not, like, I wasn't like, I was, I don't know, I didn't know what to think. So, nah, Krim was a little nervous, he was a little well, like, where's this gonna go, What what is this, what's gonna happen? I'm surprised so many, so I don't know if it's just people just like being in your business or why so many people yeah. cared <laughs> yeah. about yeah. it because she was on there. Both. Yeah, Maybe both, yeah. But somebody, you know, said that, you know, nobody, I've never seen that ever, ever before. Yeah, it's and different. And I was just like, well, you know, I yeah. try to be a little, tra- I like to be a little transparent with everything. Yeah. You know, I think it helps more people when you're transparent. Yeah, everyone can relate. Yeah. 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 So anywho. Appreciate everybody, you know what I'm saying? And fuck, man. Fuck with us, you know what I'm saying? And uh, shit. You got anything else? No, I just want to thank um, you guys for having me come on and being y'all's co-host. Yeah, and, for sure, for sure. Um, it's a new era. I know. I'm so excited. Of the show. Uh, all the listeners um, and the new listeners. And hopefully I can, we can, you know, grow. and Yeah. yeah. And okay. hopefully, you know what I'm saying, uh, more when pop-ups and different things come and all that, uh, you know what I'm saying, we'll uh, set up a booth there. And then, you know, eventually y'all can start meeting us in person. You know what I'm saying? And y'all can come and get cool shirts or whatever we have up there at our booth. So we're working on that, too. To be a little bit more out and you know what I'm saying in public more so you know what I'm saying and uh I'm hoping you know Vero could help us a lot with that too yeah definitely you know what I mean so fuck it dude I'm done I'm gonna go drink so <laughs> <laughs> so goodbye everybody uh, uh God bless take care be careful out there with us Corona shit man take care of yourselves love Wash each other hands. respect one another mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying and why you know we're gonna have cool guests cool things and going forward I feel really good things about the show uh, Vero Thank you so much for no problem, like I, you know said, I love you as a co-host already. I feel it. All right. I'm out. I'm done. Y'all are done? Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.